Hi, and welcome to our dumb game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the best game in the world. I'm your DM, Chris Perkins, and I have not read the adventure. Um, I figured after last year, what would be the point? <laughs> um, so, uh, and I'm not the adventure's writer. I am the adventure's wrecker for tonight. But uh, other than that, Let's jump right in and introduce the characters as they currently stand. Because <laughs> I don't know who you guys are. <laughs> Let's start with Mr. Patrick Rothfuss. Hey there, you out there in TV land. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I am going to start with uh, this fabulous generic pregen because I'm expecting to die a whole lot tonight. Uh, human paladin named Dirk. <laughs> strong jaw. Oh, okay. Um, and if you want to screw around with that, you can go ahead and donate on the page and, and ruin my life like happened last year. <laughs> <laughs> I am Adam Bradford, and I am playing Cademan, a satyr paladin. And please don't mess with the character because I really love it already. <laughs> <laughs> Target. Oh, oh that's me. <laughs> uh, I am, my name is Todd Kenrick, and I am playing Averin, the perfect warlock. And he's awesome. He is a lurker warlock, not like a stalker warlock. He just summons tentacles. Oh, and is perfect warlock a subclass? <laughs> <laughs> it is for me. <laughs> 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 I will, I'm Amy Vorpal, and I am playing a dragonborn ranger, a blue dragonborn with lightning damage, uh, and her name is Clay Cork T. Rubbles Romp. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm Chris Lindsay, and I am playing a dwarf druid named Grim, and that's it. <laughs> Personality to be defined later. <laughs> it's true. Oh, you could have been dark and he could have been grim. Oh. Oh. And then we had Dirk Dark Grim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I don't know how long this will venture last because I don't know how long it'll take for me to kill you all, but uh, oh, no. it starts off with you working for a mad wizard named Kowalish. He is the famous Kowalish, oh uh, who created such divine inventions as the apparatus of Kowalish. And when you enter his uh, futuristic laboratory, you can see the award he got for the apparatus of Kowalish <laughs> prominently <laughs> displayed on a shelf. Best in show, 1974. <laughs> uh, Kowalish is a bit of a weird bird because he's a half cyborg. And... Uh, he has just finished construction on a device that kind of looks like a walking, clanking metal skeleton with wings. I don't want to get bogged down in minutia here. You say he's a half cyborg, but isn't a cyborg someone that's a person but part Correct. machine? Yes. So what you're saying is like his mom was a real cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's like half cyborg. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Cool. Cyborg on his mother's side. Okay. Yeah. okay. How secure is that trophy? <laughs> oh, no. You might definitely try to steal it if you wish. Okay. So is that a sleight of hand? Yes. Oh. <laughs> before before the just, room is fully described, I admire your moxie. <laughs> <laughs> the fear from Amy. <laughs> uh, 17. Okay, uh, you hawk it, and as soon as you take it off its shelf, you hear a boop, 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 boop. It I boop, keep making boop, the same noise. Boop, 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 <laughs> My favorite song. <laughs> so you put it back? Yeah. For now. And, uh, uh, yeah. Kowalish pokes up uh, behind from his apparatus and says, Leave my trophy alone! Uh, she did it. Master, you know I wouldn't ever <laughs> do something like that. <laughs> Master, come on. You know me. <laughs> I love you and your trophy so much. <laughs> Look, that's where Do I, I know you? <laughs> yeah, you know me so well. Uh, yeah, don't you? Am I? I work. For I don't you. remember meeting you. Yeah, Clay Cork. Yeah, I'm Cl yeah, you do. I, I'm Clay Cork. I, I mainly am here to clean, but and some of that's polishing that trophy and your apparatuses. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> right, the device uh, is ready to go. It's yeah. time to send you back in time. Oh God, not again. <laughs> Here's a controller for you. Wait, what? And one for you. And one for you, and one for you, and one for you. They look like little radios with antennas sticking out of them. And there's like uh, two buttons on it. The top one, it has the twin triangles of a rewind symbol. Mm. Oh. And the bottom one has just a smile with a tongue sticking out of it. Just the mouth with the tongue oh. sticking out of it. <laughs> oh, I love when you're goofy. <laughs> <laughs> it says, don't push the second button. Which unless one? you really need to. Which one is the second button? <laughs> <laughs> Are we going from side to side, left to right, top to bottom? Because there's only two. He says... <laughs> the second one! <laughs> and how will we know we need it? Well, if you get into trouble, just push a button. The Where? first one or the second one? Not the second Se one. Not the second one. No, 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 no. I'm really looking for approval here. If you want to reset here. it, you have to press both buttons down at the same time for five seconds. This is your mechanical assistant. <laughs> and he points to the skeletal figure. I haven't come up with a name for it yet. Uh, crossbones? Brass bones? Uh, big bones. Jake. <laughs> <laughs> According to the rules of the land, <laughs> I'm not married to this weird potion. <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually, I did want to ask. Can we, I was going to ask before. Can, are, the, are these decoration or can we the, drink them? They are uh, some type of consumable liquid. Little column A, little column B. Wait. <laughs> I'm not sure how long it's been in there. I think that means we have to call it corky. Adam, I'll give you inspiration if you drink it. <laughs> and that, <laughs> that's how we lost him. <laughs> oh, you don't have to take it all at once. No. It's actually not deep code red, so. Oh. 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 Oh, One of them is my own you blood. You gotta be bold. Yeah, <laughs> well, there's a, no Boldness gets inspiration. No inspiration on the table when I was holding it. <laughs> I'm so glad you agreed to this assignment. It's very dangerous, and I'm sorry for that, but there's nothing that can be done. We have to get the futuristic items out of the past, into the present, for the future. What does Qualish's <laughs> hair look like? Uh, it's sort of white and scraggly and sticking out in all kinds of directions. Perfect. Okay. For the future. For the future. Right. Do, everyone. Do we, do we have a list? Uh, I lost it. Mm. Uh, so does I think I left it in my pocket when I took my coat to oh. the laundry. Isn't it one of those things that we'll know when we see it? Yes. These things clearly don't belong in the past. Okay. Will sort of be outlined in green. <laughs> yes. Okay. So or one of a number of other colors. To go to? 1974. Yes, 1974. <laughs> Greyhawk. Uh -huh. Dale Reckoning. <laughs> oh, Greyhawk. <laughs> yes. You're going to the Tomb of Horrors. No. Oh. As it was being built. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's just like the tomb of. If we're not supposed to push the second button, why didn't you just put one button on it? That's a. Well, right. He but says, you need to push the second button at one point. When you did, you go to engineering school. No. Then shut up! <laughs> <laughs> when someone needs to understand like which twig to use, we'll ask the druid. You should shut up. <laughs> oh. Mr. Yes. Perfect Warlock. <coughs> if you push the first <laughs> button, it will rewind time. Ooh. Allowing you to go back several seconds to undo some misfortune that just happened. Oh. Like oh. Oh, like, like when princes. you asked the question. You could have just not have asked the question. What? No, <laughs> so, does it work like any number of times? Yes, as long as the device is not malfunctioning. <laughs> <laughs> is it local to only you, or is it rewinding time for everyone it's around? It's centered you? on Jake. I thought it was he is the source of the time rift. 
Oh, Jake. Right, but it like extends outside <coughs> of Jake. We're not just sending Jake Correct. In the past. Mm. Right, right. Yes. So it's okay. a localized disturbance in the space-time continuum. Okay. Okay. So um, I'll click it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a localized disturbance in the space-time. <laughs> it's a localized disturbance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yours starts to give off sparks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get like the best like. Wicka, 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 wicka. Yes. The longer you hold down the button, the further back in time you can go. Oh, that's oh, Master Kowalsh, I know you've been working a lot. I've seen you writing Works down. Works like a VCR. Oh, got it. Um, I, I saw you writing down a whole lot of stuff, and I was wondering if maybe I could have the notes that you took as maybe a user's manual. No! All right. That would be a grave mistake. <laughs> You'll be taking something from the future into the past. Oh. And by the future, I mean the present. Uh, okay. Aren't we taking ourselves from the future into the past? Yes, well, I care about my notes more than you. <laughs> it's... Do we have to worry about time contamination? What's that? Like when bringing stuff from now to then? Are you an engineer? <laughs> I took a couple of classes at the tech. <laughs> Did you <laughs> pass any of them? But shut up! Hey. <laughs> What's your name? Avrin? Yeah. Hey, Avrin. This is quiet to everyone else. <laughs> I'm just whispering. I don't know you. if your voice can be quiet. Yeah. His, okay, well, his we'll controller see. is melting in his hand. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. um, you're so sneaky. I think you should try to sneak off a couple of pages from the notes slash user manual. Oh, wow. I'm being manipulated. I'm going to let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God. There seems something's wrong with Jake right now. He seems to sparks in the. Right, yeah. I'll take care of it. Okay. Uh, notes. <laughs> Side of hand. No. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. uh, you pick it up, and a uh, it sticks to your hand, and then a mouth appears on it and yes. attacks you. <laughs> As oh, you have encountered you a know. you've encountered a manual mimic. <laughs> 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 Uh, does a 14 hit your armor class? Uh, just barely, it does. Yes, it right. does. Yes, yes the book bites damage. you in the face. Yeah. Ow, in the face? Yes. <laughs> you take four points of damage, and now the book is attached to your face. <laughs> That's yeah. fun. What's your name? Everybody can now hear you. That's really a good look. Play cork. What are you a paladin of? I'm a paladin of first level. I haven't. He's a paladin of yesteryear. But if you're a, if you're a satyr, I'm thinking that's, those are chaotic creatures. Absolutely. Is it the same as my god chaotic. is what I'm wondering. I, I don't know. Is your god chaotic? Well, like, no. Can we party? No. Uh, I'm like a, I'm a real paladin. A real Oh, oh what, what? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> oh. Say that! Oh. I just, yeah. take like, that you, and your, you and your weird gods, I don't know, they, they might get along with my cool god. Listen, we are just as good, we just have a better time doing it. Okay, so that answered my question. When you're distracted watching that, I'm going to try to steal his holy symbol. Okay. Um, you're going to steal it off my shield? Yeah. Okay, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> or, or actually, if it, if it is on the shield, I'm going to just like draw a little mustache on this weird <laughs> pagan god. <laughs> Which okay. might not, I realize as I'm doing it, I'm like, <laughs> and then I realize it's already got a mustache. And so I actually draw a mustache and it makes it look a little more dignified and I'm sad. <laughs> you can still catch me at it if you want. Am I able to peel the book off my face? <clears throat> uh, so it's... The book is actually covered with an adhesive, mm. um, and so uh, you will have to make a strength athletics check to try to rip this thing off your face. Oh, good. The thing I am the most good at. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> what if I use butter? Do you have butter? Platinum butter? Does butter appear on your character Does sheet? Does anyone have grease? If so, why? Uh, <laughs> oh, if you say I, I it's none spit. of your business. <laughs> if you say, I imagine in the shop there's grease, and, and because yes. I okay, so I'm gonna you ask for grease, and uh, I'm gonna bumble over to some. There's grease. a grease gun. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hold on, Avon. I'm so sorry for manipulating. Make you. sure it's grease. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> squirt, squirt. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's how grease it's like guns the worst work. Commercial wait, ever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not the grease shotgun. Just the grease regular gun. No, it looks like a shotgun. Gun. <laughs> <laughs> All 
right. If you don't specify, I'm just going to assume it's yeah, just shock on me, shock on me in the face with grease. <laughs> <laughs> and I just move my non-existent hair. Does that help? Okay. Yeah. yeah, the book goes flying off oh. and then sprouts little legs and crawls away. Oh, I'm going to grab it. And, and, I'm and just a little pet. too late, uh, Cademan comes over and spits on his face to try to lubricate just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's trying to help. Right. Spitting is not the answer to See? everything. <laughs> Donation good, good pops. paladin? Oh. Other paladin. Uh, anything? anything? Yeah. Okay. So we have our first round of donations, everyone. Yay! Uh, I'm call these you, out. Thank you. We have $10 from Rob Hobb. We have $25 from Joey B. Stinger, who will be giving Pat inspiration. Thank you, Joey. We have $10 from Slyker. We have $10 from Andrea Lane. We have $10 from How We Got Ants. We have $10 from Derek. We have $10 from Melly DM. And we have a $75 donation from Kyle and Shayla to have Amy roll on the Nightmare Treasure wild, Wand of Wild Candy Table <laughs> crafted by Dan Tell for himself. Yay! I, was, uh, yeah, I think yay! I think yay! <laughs> <laughs> it is a Nightmare Treasure. Um, I need you to roll a D20. Okay. Oh, my first D20 roll. Okay. A six. A six. D6. Okay, so Mars a pen, pen a, a wand of candy has appeared in your hand. Wait, sorry, did you say a D20, right? A D20. Oh, yeah, yes. it was a six, okay. And you instinctively force the candy into being. It is marzipan panda faces. These tasty almondy faces cause sharp bamboo quills and claws to violently sprout from your hands and forearms, which can be alarming to others, but it does not otherwise hurt. This temporarily adds 1D6 plus 4 slashing damage to all of your unarmed strikes. Uh, it, but does really destroy your shirt and your gloves and everything because of the quills. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, oh, okay. You also hunger for bamboo and will <laughs> regularly have to make a DC 10 charisma saving throw to resist having to gnaw on one of your own little arm shoots of okay. bamboo. <laughs> 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 and it's called Marzipan Panda Face? <clears throat> yeah. Marzipan Panda Face is candy. Okay. And so do I know all of this before I eat it or do I just, uh, like, that makes, me, that makes me eat it? Okay, I ate it, and now I I'm, so. I'm, I'm yeah. shooting out of... Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think the gun gave me this. <laughs> Side effects of grease gun may include panda. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to see if I save to eat. Yeah, I got a 20, so I, I don't immediately want to eat my... Uh, <laughs> eat, eat, eat these shoots. Eat All shoots. Right. <coughs> Cademan walks over and <laughs> spits on her finger and starts trying to pull one <laughs> no of the. No, you. Uh, why? Hey, man, come spinning. on! Like this stuff. This just happened to me, and now you. I mean, we pulled it off of him, and we've got. Uh, that's not I related at I all. I think it's just his thing. Yeah. Hey, are you okay, hey, man? Him. Are you hungry? <laughs> like, can I help you? Uh, you that just looks seem edible. Yeah, yeah, you just seem troubled. You should have some <laughs> of it. Watch. Grim. I saw uh, him. <laughs> Koalish hands you a multi-purpose tool okay. that you can use if, if Jake needs repairs. Okay, I take the multi-purpose tool. Because if Jake is too badly damaged, he won't be able to time warp you back to the present. Well, that would be horrible. Oh, yes. God. And you'll be stuck in Who 1974 made him Greyhawk. <laughs> Who so, made him engineer? I thought we were going to the Tomb of Horror. Tomb of Horror. Oh. Oh. The oh. Tomb of Horror. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Oh. I, I over anticipated how far along they've gotten. <laughs> <laughs> when you're ready to leave, Jake can send you there. I'm ready. And and when so you're ready to return, time. Jake can send you back. What happens to Jake? He stays with you. Well, okay, just give me a hug real quick. I'm going to miss you. She's so prickly. Yeah, she, he, he looks at your arms. And goes, no! <laughs> <laughs> Are you like a stalker? No, I just, I just. Are uh, you like a koalish fangirl? Stay away from me! I, I'm a koalish fangirl, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Do you have like, like, just like Unabashed. candles and photos of him everywhere at home? Yeah. The koala, koalish him. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, actually, yeah, panda, koala, yeah. basically yes. the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot underestimate under the importance of this mission. Without those pieces, I will not be able to finish the machine of Lum the Mad. And what is that, that machine going to do? He says, it does many things. Oh, Name one. Yeah, yeah. Let's, <laughs> could you elaborate on that? <laughs> can, you, can you name one of them? One it's of the like, many things? Yes. Oh. You can teleport somebody to the moon. Oh. Dibs. What's the moon? 
Uh, <laughs> big, big thing up, upstairs. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you drew it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know what circle you're not of. <laughs> Very in touch with the natural world. I'll have you know. He lives I tell underground. You this cool of rock. <laughs> and in this pool of rock, we stay underground. Right, right, and we don't right. see any bloody moon. Okay, right, right. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I think we figured out why you're level one. <laughs> <laughs> the same reason you are, because we don't know sh yeah. stuff. <laughs> Very good. Uh. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. Born Sir. ready. Why not? Did yeah. you just say okay. sir? sir? Yeah, lawful. See, this Says is what's wrong with you. Lawful. <laughs> uh, what do you do with your flamed-out controller? Paladin. My flamed-out controller? I, I'm holding on to it. I also am trying to pet the book and become friends with it. Uh, oh, oh cool. <laughs> <laughs> Make a, You're going to die before we leave the lab. <laughs> yeah. He's at least going to Make lose a hand. Make a charisma <laughs> persuasion check. Something I'm not great at. Are you, trained in book Are you good at anything? You literally have it. <laughs> <laughs> Already with the verbal abuse. <laughs> it's okay. Thanks, It'll mom. be all right. Little all guy. this from the janitor. <laughs> oh, well, uh, <laughs> persuasion. That's an 18. All right. 30, 18. Okay. Um, so <laughs> you, when you pet the book, you stick to its adhesiveness. Yes. Um, but the book doesn't attack you. Aw. Yeah. It, it, it just sort of rests comfortably in your hand. Oh, I start feeding it like just oh, like little, little pages of other books. So it oh, learns, yeah. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. It um, learns to eat books? No, no, it eats the books and then it learns from them and grows. It's how Pokemon work. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Aren't you a Pokemon right now? <laughs> they have to eat the same candy of their type. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. You just see you tearing little pieces off one Pokemon and fading it to another? <laughs> no joke, but yes, that is how they work. <laughs> is this what they've been teaching you in school? <laughs> <laughs> that you book doesn't eat pages. Mm. What, what, what does it eat? What Human is it like flesh? a good thing for it? Pokemons! <laughs> <laughs> Cannon, cannon. I'll, I'll ask later. <laughs> do, you, do you think maybe your your user tool could help with with his um, his hand radio? Uh, no, no, I don't want Druid yeah. trying to fix my 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 he radio. He doesn't even thing. know what the. I get my is. Pokemon's from the future. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, yeah. That's what I like about you. <laughs> that's, right. that's what I like about you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Jake. The thing I'll, I'll, I'll try no, 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 no. I'm, I'm okay. I, I'm more comfortable. Uh, how about you? Uh, you know, plant a tree or something. Perhaps I don't know. You don't understand what the school of rock does. Uh, <laughs> it's you, not the school of tree. You uh, summon rocks. Do I have pointy ears. I am flipping the switch to yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, do yeah. we, we say? Need, yeah. What, yeah. what do we, we say? It's just a switch. Yeah, and Jake starts to reverberate. Uh, gives Koalish a high five, and then Koalish uh, puts on his goggles and steps back behind a blast screen. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I raise my puts on, a, puts on a lead vest. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, the lead vest. <laughs> just tighten. Yes. I just tighten my whole body. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise known as a clinch. Yes. yes. I put the radio pants-wise. Yes. Okay. Safe. Okay. And the book. Not the book, um, no. The book. The book. I'm just holding the book to my oh, chest. Oh, so now it's stuck to your chest, it. too? Yeah. And his yeah. arms. Yeah. Well, at least we have I'm it. book man. Oh, no. <laughs> and in a flash, you are gone, finding yourselves instantaneously transported to a swamp uh, outside what looks to be a large, flat-topped hill covered with ugly vegetation. The flies descend upon you. Mm. Uh, Jake doesn't seem too troubled by that. Book seems fine with that. Mm. Okay. Um, a few flies stick to book. Mm. Uh, oh. And you can see Watch that there's that. some activity in the front of this hill around two openings or tunnels. Uh, actually, there are three that you see. Three openings or tunnels spaced on the hillside, sort of evenly apart from one another. But the activity you see are work crews hauling large black boulders through the swamp up to the bottom of the hill. And you see activity around the hill that indicates uh, workers clearing out rubble. 
And are they're moving the rocks into the openings? Or they're, they're coming no, out of the No, you can sort of see that uh, there's a crew. Once they get these big, giant black rocks to the base of the hill, there's another crew with a rig up at the top of the hill that are kind of hauling them up the slope. So the rocks will eventually live on top of the hill, mm. above the tunnels. And they're sort of misshapen, bulbous <laughs> rocks. They don't look like anything you'd like build a house out of or something like that. Are, are workers going in and out of the, do the doorways? Of two of them. The, the one in the middle seems to have the most traffic. Mm. The one to the left has slightly less traffic. The one to the right is getting no traffic whatsoever. Mm. There's no workers around that one. Um, how far away are we? You are probably about ooh, 300 yards. Okay. And are these to... just like folks? Like, are they monsters? Are they oh. whatever? <laughs> um, a lot of coveralls. Having, having stolen the binoculars uh, out of Kowalish's lab, you hold those up and you take a good look and you see that they are humans and tieflings. Hmm. Hmm. I, I see no reason why we don't go and ask these fine folk for their assistance. They don't want stuff from the time stream polluting their past. Oh, current. hey, uh, but Te devil's advocate, tieflings advocate, <laughs> what? <laughs> What if, um, what if, I mean, I feel like if we just go up and, and talk to them, I, I bet Kowalish could have done that or else he wouldn't have sent us. Mm. Right, like, yeah, you don't want to just be like, hey, we have some future stuff. Would you, you mind giving it back to us? It's probably it's really slave labor also, so they're just going to capture us and turn us into slaves also. Well, no, then we should, like, foment an uprising, get these people some... Like a union? Now I'm, I'm with you. Oh, wait, oh, no. Something but, we can agree on. Okay. That seems, I mean, th those kinds of things take a minute to do. We don't well, I mean, we're in the past. However long it takes here, yeah. it's going to be the same We can always use there. the little thing if we mess up. We're going to ferment an uprising? Yeah. yeah. Is mm -hmm. it like a beer? Yeah. I mean, beer yeah, helps. Actually, oh, actually. Yeah, that's that's what you <laughs> Got it. Or we could do what my... The person I love very much, uh, Master Kowalish, said, and just take the thing that we're supposed to take. Yeah, but I'm assuming we've got to get in there, and there's like a bunch of them. Okay. Oh, oh so you're saying that we pretend <clears throat> we just cause a fury immediately. <laughs> or <laughs> we accomplish two goals. Okay. We find the things, and we free all the slaves. Slave uprising okay. and a distraction, I think. Can we tell if there are any, um, like... Any people in charge? Oh, that's a very good question. Make a perception check if you'd like to try to I'm spy right. somebody who looks like they know what they're doing. <laughs> Bossing oh, well, others around. <laughs> yeah, I look at my, my, my compatriots and the, and the slaves, and I look to see if anyone knows what they're doing. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And I get, I get a four on the die, uh, plus two, so six. Um... You think, as you look up the hill, that maybe the Umber Hulk is in charge. Ooh. And everybody else says, Umber Hulk? And mm -hmm. it turns out one, this, this big beetleoid creature has come out of one of the tunnels and is being guided by handlers. It comes out of the middle tunnel and is guided by handlers over to the left tunnel. And as the handlers um, sort of goad it along, it turns on one of them, bites off its head, and the headless body is just sort of flailing around in its jaws for a bit before it rips the body to pieces. And then the other hand. That's the boss, guys. That's <laughs> the, that guy's the overseer. That for sure guy's in charge. That's some Obviously. solid management <laughs> technique. <Yeah. laughs> yes. I immediately walk over to him. Oh, oh start heading in that direction. Yeah. Okay. Good, uh, good, because uh, <laughs> after, after that happens, the other handlers back have off, <laughs> and this berserk Umber Hulk, after tearing this poor person mm. to little pieces, goes stomping down the hill in protest. <laughs> <laughs> Now's our chance. Uh, hello, uh, I loved what you just did there. That was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, warranted. Uh, you know, good management all around. Um, uh, how are you doing? You seem upset. Would you like to talk? <laughs> <laughs> it, it stumbles over talk? to you with its big, burly arms out, like in a hug. Oh, this could be threatening or friendly or my death. Mm. Uh, <laughs> or both. I gently... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, uh, 
I don't pray, but oh, I was close to 20. it. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> what? I rolled a nat 20. Uh, you take uh, 28 points of slashing damage as its mandibles chop off your head. Uh, oh, no! Oh, God, do I, does that thing happen I, where my I, head rolls and I still see myself? It just goes flopping down into the water of the swamp, so you're kind of looking at yourself through the swamp water as your headless body flails there. I, I, I reach over and I push the button on his remote. <laughs> on his little his remote his, is his, broken. Like, Boop. The rewind button? Yeah. Are you hold, how, how far are you holding I, it down? I just go... Probably until he swats my hand away, I'm guessing. Okay. But like, just no. I just saw him get massacred. Like, I'm reaching for it too. Okay. okay. Well, he hits your button first, and you just appear with Jake in front of this hill, which has three tunnels in front of it, and oh, workers taking oh. big we what happened? up to the top. Yeah, Jake. Do we remember what happened? Nope. Oh, no. All right. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that works. We're going to oh, tell okay. you about this dying and stuff here. Okay. Uh, you see some workers up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a second round of donations. Yeah. Okay. So second round of donations here, guys. We have $10 from Jim T. We have $100 from Dionysus Reborn to level up Adam. Hey. Level two, here we come. All right. Uh, we're going to have a couple of tables. <laughs> We're going to have a couple of table rolls here, so I'm going to read off everything when we do the rolls at the end. Oh. Um, we have $10 from D&D Group Finder, who says, great show. We have $35 from Melly DM, who says, hmm, I think only one of these holy men, or one of these holy men, needs a little more chaos in their life. You certainly can't deface a fey holy symbol with no recompense. <laughs> uh, Pat is going to have to roll on the wild magic table. Oh. Uh, I Am Iceman donates 10 Mythic Weasel will give uh, Amy inspiration. Yes! Celtic413 <laughs> gives $10. Scion Knight says, it's that crazy. bamboo candy had some lingering magic in it. Amy rolls on the wild magic table. <laughs> and then I am Iceman for $75. Say, may the gods be in your favor, Pat. The magical wand of treasure will appear and you will be forced to consume some candy. Okay. Um, so first, let's have Pat roll a D100 on the magic table, wild magic table. 88. An 88. You cast fly on a random creature within 60 feet of you. <gasps> Uh, the random might One, mean two, you get three, to pick, four. or... Oh, four. um, sure. Otherwise, I think it'd be great for the um Umber Hulk. No. One, <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, Umber Hulk is a six. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you like to make that roll? Yeah, sure. All right. Five. Ha, ha, ha. Fly to the moon. The fly That's the right. <laughs> Screw you. Amy. <laughs> How far could it be? Uh, all right. Amy, D100, yes. please. A D100, okay. So this isn't candy? This is the wild magic. Okay, 81. 81. You can take one additional action immediately. Oh, um, okay, perfect. I, uh, <laughs> good. Um, I get, I get, I, I use my bamboo shoots uh, to dig a hole. <laughs> <laughs> How big of a hole would you like to dig? At um, least human size. Uh, as big as I can. You let me do it. Um, <laughs> You're remarkably good at this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Then uh, a, a hole big enough for two people. Great. Yeah. I All right. don't know. We're going to need sort of, it. It yeah. sort of fills, <laughs> sort of fills the swamp water. Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay, great. And finally, Pat rolling a d20 on the candy. Oh, that's his candy. <laughs> I, uh, I got a six, too. Isn't that what you rolled? It is! <laughs> Shoot, <Jesus>. brothers! <laughs> <laughs> Marza panda faces yeah. appear <laughs> in your hands. He, like, you made a whole table, but, like, this whole game, it would be great if we only used one of them. <laughs> They're very almondy, very quilly. Yep. Now, hold on. I'm wearing, like, armor. Does this, does this happen in the armor? <laughs> Bamboo has a higher tensile strength than steel. Uh -uh. <laughs> 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 okay. He should be I, the engineer. I'm know. not sure that's true. Mm. <laughs> Say tensile strength again. <laughs> I, I am not going to argue that point, and that might be a fact. <laughs> I will leave it up to Chris's discretion. That doesn't necessarily mean that, I mean, I guess I, what I need to know, am I crammed into my armor now with the bamboo shoots? Mm, a torture chamber, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Big quill and a little armor. Oh, God, I hope you look like a giant scarecrow. Uh, oh, no, no, wait, it's not plate armor. I am wearing chain mail. 
Oh, 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 oh that's oh, right that's out front. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. My, um, I had studded leather, so mine's just more studded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now I got to roll to not eat it? Yeah, DC 10 charisma saving throw to resist having to gnaw at some of your arm sheets. Okay, yeah, I do good. Okay. All right. All right. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> so you're walking over to the Umber Hulk. Yes. Uh, oh, you are You again? fall into the hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh what a good gag! <laughs> the the, the, the so water funny. from the swamp causes the whole okay. mud to f spill in on top of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just did it as a joke. <laughs> I have the feeling I've died so many times. <laughs> Avrin slowly sinks down no. and just bloop, 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 bloop. So, uh. yeah, he's in your hole, and the hole has <laughs> filled in on him. Oh, okay, get out of there, you nut. Get out of there. Come on. Get, hold my hold my hand. He's like hand. Cameron and Ferris Bueller. <laughs> yeah, hold my... Okay. Yeah, that yes. kind of hurts you a little, because yeah. it's barbarous. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. And these are bamboo shoots? Yes. Okay, yeah. so I've been using one of the shoots that she gnawed off to, like, <laughs> breathe. All right. Okay. <laughs> yes, through the mud. You are pulled out of the mud hole. Okay. Right. And now I am covered in mud. Yep. And, and uh, I want to say hello to Umber Hulk. Wait, I think that was a sign that maybe, maybe the, your whatever task you were trying to accomplish <laughs> just now yeah, might not I be the right one. I certainly believe it was a sign. I yes. don't believe that's true at all. I think it <laughs> absolutely the, the lack was. of past knowledge is gonna be we now. Okay, the Umber Hulk is rampaging towards us. It's ambling toward you. Let's get, let's just get out of the way. Let's put him in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I will stand on the other side of the hole uh -huh. and pose oh. manfully. Uh -huh. yes. His armor's really... <laughs> right. You've never seen chainmail actually kind of go ting before, but like, because I, I get it, I'm, I actually square off. This is the bonus action. It's like, hey. Yes. You know, hoping that it, it comes through the hole and, and falls Of course. In the hole. Make a, let's say, charisma persuasion check Ooh. to bring it to you. Uh, this is what I'm all about. So, this gigantic beetle in the two person hole. Yes. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Uh, 24. Ooh. Everything goes exactly as planned. Yay! <laughs> the big beetle falls into the hole, basically up to its neck. So, it's just this beetle head sticking out of the water now. The rest of its body is in mud. That, that is incredible. That's, that's thanks to the donations that yes. that hole even exists. You <laughs> exactly. Know? You know, we're uh, coming down lives. the hill are some of the workers, and you also see, after the incident with the uh, worker being decapitated, a man come down, a bearded man who looks like a wizard. He's wearing black robes. He's got a pendant around his neck with a weird talisman around it that kind of looks like a green devil face with a gaping mouth. Probably not. Important. Is that the thing? Is that the thing? Is that the and he just, thing? He just wanders down. Uh, and thanks you for subduing the Berserk Umberhulk and feels like uh, repayment is in order. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. certainly. Yeah, how, much, how much did that job pay? Is there, is there a scale for Umberhulk's Abdul? I mean, it, yeah. <laughs> it, it was very, very difficult. Well, we want He'll give you a little gargoyle statue. No, no, no. Does is no. it outlined in green? <laughs> uh, no, what is, is the but it's got gems for eyes. Mm. But mm. Meanwhile, I'm slowly axing yeah. off the head of the Umber yeah. Hulk for reasons I can't completely understand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel strangely compelled. Why is he killing our Umber Hulk? Uh, after all the effort you took to subdue it? Uh, well, I'm not sure. sure like it just feels right, guys. It just feels right. <laughs> why is he with us? Oh no, he, he's a, he's a great guy. Uh, I can I can totally vouch for him. He's good. He's good for any money he's, he takes from you. <laughs> He'll pay you back. As you're looking at the statuette you were given, you see that unlike typical gargoyle, this one actually has four arms. Hmm. So that's kind of weird. Hey, Jake, is this the thing that we're meant to get? <laughs> uh, Jake just sort of looks at it stupidly. He's got no facial expression. It's uh -huh. sort of this um, metal skull face. He just I imagine like, it's a bucket. It's just a bucket. Yeah. Oh, uh, he, he shakes his head. <laughs> no, that's not it. What about the thing around his neck? He walks over to the wizard and stares <laughs> at his chest uh -huh. and looks at it from about a foot away and then shakes his head at no, you. No, that's not it either. Okay, well, well let's do it. We're out. actually here to uh, resolve some problems. See, I can't lie as a paladin, so watch me, watch me here. We're here to take care mm. of some problems that you might be having, some unforeseen circumstances. I'm not saying we're from head office as troubleshooters, but we're, we're not here to, not we're here from to help. head office. 
Right, we are don't, from head don't. office, actually. <laughs> We've heard that construction has been incredibly slow on the project, and we have been sent to... Slow? Uh, uh, increase slow? the speed. Those are not my words. I'm That's... the master of the schedule. I decide whether it's slow. That's right, but... Y Bugger. <laughs> <laughs> I go, zzz, I just take it like right back past that. <laughs> so you're rewinding? Yeah, just, just, yeah, just until when they started to talk. <laughs> and so, uh, hey, I've got an idea. Hey, thanks so much for the gargoyle. That like means so much. But you know what would be really cool is a tour of the facilities. I like right, that. Right, that sounds fun. We've heard so much good stuff about uh, you yes. and your talisman. All right. He, sa he, he points over at one of the workers and says, Craig, <laughs> give them Craig? the tour. G give them the VIP tour. Yeah. <laughs> wink, <Yes>. wink. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and uh, Craig comes over and says, oh, this way, please. I don't think we can trust Craig. I have a <laughs> bad feeling about yeah, this. Yeah, what does Craig look like? <laughs> Was he using his wrong eye? <laughs> <laughs> what? His wrong He's eye? He's the lie we can all see. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Right. Um, uh, yeah, uh, Craig looks like a... Um, a... a... grade 11... Student. Oh. Um, and worst kind. Yeah, going going through puberty. You're just like uh, oh god. Many difficult challenges ahead for him. Oh. Those everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he he probably His didn't have life. a good family, which is how he ended up working in the swamp for very yeah. little pay and little recognition. Hey, oh, buddy. Yeah. Things are going to change here in a bit, and it's just all going to be okay. We've all gone through it. Okay. Yeah. Just so you know. Yeah. He's got. Uh, um, Probably a little bit of fiendish blood in his mm. heritage, so he has like tiny little horns coming out of his chin. Aww, Aww. I like him. Craig, just because you know someone's your boss doesn't mean you have to do what they say, especially if they well, like get you. No, that is kind of what that. I, means. I, 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 I get an arm around him and I'm like, the tour? actually, that's exactly what you have to do. It's <laughs> <laughs> if you have a boss. You have to listen to him. It's not always great, but that's it's, right. the rules. It's, it's not really, though, Craig. Because I'm going to get all up in there. Craig, it's Craig, better if have you, you follow your own heart. Have you considered accepting Tamora into your life as your personal savior? Listen, Tamora is <laughs> great yeah, at all. Look, but have you thing. ever been to a party <laughs> where you get so wasted? Everyone's felt like they... It's a divine yeah, experience. Yeah, they're they're so, I'm flying. You, sometimes you're flying. you feel like you don't belong, but... I've taken the... You know, all you have to do is get a little older, a little Wiser yes. I'm not sure who she even serves. Are you taking the head? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is Craig crying yet? <laughs> no, Craig is listening, no, I hanging am. attentively onto every word. <laughs> but now he's faced with more difficult choices than he thought he'd have to face at his young age. <laughs> Craig, like have you heard thing. of YouTube? So he's, he was, you know, when you started talking about Timora, he doesn't even know who that is. He's never even heard of Timora. Well, I have some informative pamphlets you're going to be so excited to see. <laughs> oh, homework. Yeah, he knows that. Or I'll take you to a party tonight, Craig, and then let's see what happens. Okay? Or you could just journal. <laughs> <laughs> get, to, get to know yourself a little more. I happen to have one, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> He's dragging an um Umber Hulk head behind him. And, uh, and uh, do we, is he, we sort of simultaneously walking into the tunnels? Yes. Yeah, was he receptive to that? He's, he's Life lessons? He has no ability to analyze. Um, <laughs> well, he's 17. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much he believes... <laughs> Every <laughs> one of us. all evil after teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that, teenagers. <laughs> Sorry, life was your hard right. now. <laughs> your frontal lobe hasn't developed all the way. <laughs> <laughs> now a bunch of role players are making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> now the tables have okay. turned. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> Which tunnel are you going to ask Craig to take you down? Tunnel on the right, tunnel in the middle, or tunnel on the left? Empty, right? I'm oh. concerned about empty, because yeah, it I'm may be empty, empty for empty. like a they were reason. They were taking the umber hook to that. Well, yeah. we don't remember that. But I like, I like most traffic, because it, it gives us a little bit of anonymity. Oh, lots of people. That would I be the middle one. Right. And, and so I'll say, hey, Greg. I'm assuming you got a little leeway. Hey, his, his name's, name's Craig. Craig. His name's Craig. If, if you're not his name right, is already that was so his low. Same Sorry. name. Do you see <laughs> what he cares about? <laughs> he doesn't even care about you, Craig. I'm just saying. How, what, 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 what do you, would you prefer to be called? 
Craig? Yeah, Are you sure? Because yeah. it's your name, but yeah, Okay, Craig. Yeah. I just want you to know I'm never going to lie to you. But he's, you he's just going to mess your name up. But if, you, if we go in there and something attacks us and we die, it's probably going to kill you too. It's Craig with a K. <laughs> of course yeah. it is. How do you spell the you rest of that? You know what? You can have this one. <laughs> 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 the recruit, just recruitment's over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just lost interest. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's what did it. Uh, when with you, a K? <laughs> <laughs> when you Don't get up the to... deal breaker? <laughs> Tomorrow isn't interested anymore. <laughs> <laughs> with a K. <laughs> You get, to the, <laughs> you get to the central <laughs> entrance. It's a 10 by 10 hole in the hill um, and uh, very neatly cut. Uh, this broad tunnel is currently still being shaped into whatever it will become in the future, but it's an active site featuring a number of tiefling artisans working by lantern light to plaster the walls and paint them with bright, colorful murals. You see other artisans are covering the floor in an elaborate mosaic featuring a distinct winding path of red tiles that runs deep into this tunnel. Mm. Well, I don't want to mess up the work, so I'll, I'll, when I go in there, I'm just going to fly. Gliding, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Magneto style. Yes. <laughs> As you go deeper in, Grim, and you take a look around, and dark vision's helpful because it's pretty dim in here, even with the lanterns, you can see that some pits, some very nice square pits, have been cut into the floor. Uh, but they're all still open. You can see uh, hinges on the sides of the pit where it looks like eventually lids will be attached to conceal them, but those have not been installed yet. Okay, I don't really say anything as I'm going over the, the pits. <laughs> you just go. But yeah, I, just, no, 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 um, but, I, but I, will, I will just kind of point at them as I'm going, you know, just like, so if they're paying any attention at all, yeah. um, then they'll see. And if they're just jerking around with Craig, then <laughs> they won't. I'm going to be clocking you. I'm clocking. So a, as I'm walking, my hooves yeah. are like clickety-clack clack, clack, on this, clack, like clack, really, clack, really clack, badly. Clack. In between the click-clack, I'm going to be at, Craig, what is this winding red tile? What, what's, what does that mean, Craig? Uh, that is the path that a Sarorak hopes adventurers will follow as they navigate through this tunnel. Who is a Sarorak? He is the money. The man who, the man? The, oh, is it that guy the, we ran No, No, that, that's Mogadam. He's the architect. But no. a Sarorak is, is the guy who's putting up the cash for this place and is getting all the things <laughs> that Mogadam uh, needs to finish it. He's not here, is he? Who? A Sarorak. A Sarorak? Yeah. I, I don't know. Oh, God, I have I don't know. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, Craig, um, is there something super cool in this uh, establishment yet? Like, really? Yeah. Uh, like, that we probably shouldn't see? Some treasure maybe? chests just got installed, and the chapel is nearly complete. Uh, and oh, he wants to go there. Oh, at the end of this hall, there's a big demon. Oh, cool, yeah. As Grim drifts down toward the end uh, of the as hall. As soon as he says that, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> in the hallway. Yeah. yeah. And I just kind of turn around in midair and go, <laughs> what? Yeah, the big, there's a big demon whose uh, terrible life force is being used to power some of the magic in the tomb. And he's having trouble hearing that since I'm walking. Clock, and then clock, I finally clock, just clock, like clock. stop Ooh, we where should, he can hear it. We should let the demon loose. I will wait. Wait, <laughs> or not. wait why? No, no, no. Let's unpack this. Why should we let the demon lose? <laughs> why are you saying these things? Because yeah, I'm, I'm super curious, too. <laughs> well, I just want to know the logic behind your thoughts. Well, this is a very famous tomb, and if it's like fueling everything, mm -hmm. look, we could do some I've gold. never we heard of the tomb the, of the, the well, past. If you're, if you're not careful. <laughs> I, well, I have. I've dyed hair like five times. So, uh, oh, so you're just saying release him so we unplug the battery. Yeah, just you know, unplug mm. the batteries and then everything's fine. I think what will happen is that we'll, he'll kill everyone. No. Well, yeah, I mean, first. Okay, yeah. Yeah. There's a risk yeah. of that. <laughs> but like, if yeah. we go back, like if we let the, the I, I'm, I'm a little shady on the theory, but I think if we kill, if we let the demon loose, he'll kill a butterfly and then we go back and everyone's, a, a Republican. I, <laughs> 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 it's been a while since I've read Ray Bradbury. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for the four yes. people that got that weird, <laughs> screwed up right. deep cut. <laughs> yeah. I mean... <laughs> so you mean like the 80s? That wasn't me being <laughs> political now. I'm not above that. I'm saying that was just a reference to the story. <laughs> yes. As a, result, as a result of that thunderous sound, we're going to 
uh, have some oh, okay. donations you. coming in. Uh, we have $35 from I Am Iceman saying, let's introduce some chaos. Adam is going to roll on the wild magic table. Dector says, have fun, buddy, and makes Todd roll on the magic table. Oh. Uh, Jason donates $20. Ben R. says, long live spooky Amy's Warforged from last year's game and gives you a level up. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Larry Thank Milton. You. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so far, my dead soul has a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Milholic <laughs> donates $10, and D&D Group Finder donates $75 to have Chris Lindsay roll on the Magic Wand of Nightmare candy table. Oh, my gosh. Roll All a right. six. Adam, D100. 25. 25. 25. An eye appears on your forehead for the next minute. During that time, you have advantage on wisdom checks that rely on sight. Mm, that's mm. great. I'm going to poke it. Uh, 87. 87. I think that's actually already happened before. You cast fly on a random creature within 60 <laughs> feet of you. It can't be me. It's random. random. It's random. Ooh. So roll a d6. Okay. It might be Craig. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Craig would like that. Yeah. I, would, I would take advantage of that situation. <laughs> it's five. Oh. Uh, Hold on. He was five before. That's true. Uh, well, Congratulations. Fly. It's, your fly is extended. Thank you. <laughs> d20. The wand appears before you. Chris Fifteen. Kitty. Fifteen. Double rainbow lollipop. A two rainbow striped lollipops appear on a single Y-shaped stick. So like two-headed lollipop. Licking the lolly, which you will be forced to do, uh -huh. gives the ingester dark vision for 100 feet for two hours, gives you glowing, cool-looking rainbow hair that cascades with a magical pulse. Right on. Oh, and then <laughs> you can choose to bite the lollipop, I will not tell you what happens if you want to bite the lollipop. I, I bite, bite it. You <laughs> bite the lollipop. <laughs> I bite it. Fuck it. Bite it. You instead, instead of all of that other stuff, all of that goes away. <laughs> and now oh, you have care. eight rays of prismatic spray go off inside your mouth at once. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Taste the rainbow. <laughs> I do want to note this uh, table was not made for level one characters. Oh no! I was gonna really? Say. This is great. Oh, Chris! Anything else? Wait. That is it for now. That's enough. All right. So I can resolve the prismatic spray thing. Uh, I need you <laughs> to die. They are lo they are local <laughs> to his to mouth. Die. They will not affect others. They are local to his mouth. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> oh, I, that's what I was gonna say because you know, yeah. <laughs> Bye, Chris. All right. Um. So make a saving throw. <laughs> All of them. Versus yeah. what? Uh, this will be a dexterity saving throw. Sure. Why not? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. With your own mouth. Like, <laughs> try to dodge inside it's your It's a own tongue mouth. twister. Ooh. 16. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. There's no DC given, so I'm going to say it's 7. No, I'm... <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so... Let's call that one good. Make a second one. <laughs> there are eight of these. 18. Ooh. Let's make a third one. Wow. If you live through this, I is this all happening? Are we just seeing like a rave in his mouth right now? Yeah. 14. <laughs> okay, so far so good. Make a fourth one. Seven. Okay. Uh, not so good. Make a fifth one. Nine. A sixth one. Five. Okay. <laughs> Seventh <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, he's going exploding. I'm going to get all over me. Ten. <laughs> okay. Um, and I won't make you make the eighth one because uh, you got hit with all the other rays anyway. Uh, so since the rays do half damage on a failed save, uh, you are obliterated by fire, acid, lightning, poison, cold. Uh, you're blinded. <laughs> <laughs> By the and, light? Yes. yes. <laughs> and uh, up, and uh, turned into a statue. So uh, he just sort of explodes in a dazzling array of colors. But right before, but right before that, he looked like better than I've ever seen. Yeah. Him. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Does somebody want to like you know? Like, he turns into a disco a ball button? for about a minute and then blows up. Uh, Actually, I, I I will push the button. Just to watch that again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just say, not for long. After, he, after yeah, he's right. bitten into the thing. Oh, no. I, I, I do that 
and then I lose all my paladin powers. <laughs> That's not a good thing to do. I was actually about to say I was not going to rewind because that actually sounds like what I am looking for as a character. <laughs> That's go the out end. like that. That's the end you want. If yeah. Pat hits rewind, I make sure I have a mirror to hold up so he can watch himself explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Is, sorry, is anybody going to rewind? Yeah, I really am going to rewind. Okay. But I want him because. It, I wanted to go back to right before he took the bite, because I still want him to have the rainbow glory. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You timed that perfectly. Everything is rewound. You get to see him unexplode. Yeah. Oh, that's so disgusting. Oh, and I slapped yeah. the candy out of his hand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so you've got the candy in your hand, and yeah. suddenly he leaps up and goes, <laughs> and knocks it out. Um, your lollipops break on the floor. Oh, now it's dirty. I was eating that. I know, but no lollipop for you. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of saving your life, he just looks like a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's he, the yeah. saving his life? Because yeah. he doesn't know that Lollipop is bad. <laughs> he just swatted it out of his hand for no reason whatsoever. I, I also would like to say, just as color, I imagine the sound it makes in reverse Ugh. is oh. like four hams just slapping <laughs> together. <laughs> <laughs> Four very wet hands. Yeah. <laughs> how do you know how that sounds? I love that. I've lived a rich, full life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not getting so, so many questions. Man. All right, little color fumes come oh off your gosh. shattered pieces of lollipop. And they crunch your lollipop. I look really mud. disappointed, but I've got my rainbow hair, so okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> All right, uh, you can see that many of the murals in this hall show fields with kine grazing, a copse with several wolves in the background. Uh, certain frescoes show rooms of a building like a library full of books, a torture chamber, a wizard's workroom. Mm -hmm. You see birds, bats, spiders, all manner of things shown in these murals on the walls. You have no idea what is being communicated. Hmm. Mm. What, so we have a Sirarak, and then what was the other guy's name? Mogadam. Mogadam. I imagine that Koalish would want something that Mogadam has since they're like the same brand of, mm -hmm. of wizard thing. So yeah. maybe let's go to Mogadam's. Hey, Craig. Craig? Yeah. Y can you show me where Mogadam uh, works and makes stuff? Yeah, he's, um, his office is out of this hall, back outside, and then it's <coughs> the one immediately to the left. Well, could you guide us there? Do you have like credentials yeah. that can get, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that'd be cool. Right. It's right this way. Is there anything the that exit. you need from us? Because you've been so helpful. Hey, good question, man. Um, right, because you've been giving so much, and we've given you so little. Mm, it's true. I also, because I leveled up, I I'm going up to assume I that really I, offended. I, I'm going to assume <laughs> that I leveled up because of your hair and glory. <laughs> like I just was so inspired that I, I gained a bunch of hit points. Yeah. Why, why wouldn't you be? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he'll lead you back out of the tunnel, and instead of, uh, as soon as you walk out and you go to the left, he'll walk you along the hillside. To the, one, to the tunnel that wasn't getting any attention. There was nobody around there when you saw it from oh, a distance. Yeah, 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 I'm trying yeah, to yeah, tell you. Uh, and when you go in, you see it retreats into the hill, this tunnel, about 30 feet. And at the back of the tunnel is a desk. Right. Just a desk? Just one desk? Uh, yeah. There's just a desk parked at the back of the tunnel. It looks like there's still work to be done here. Mm. Uh, one of the things you notice is that the de desk is covered with a dense layer of plans, drawings, and other documents. And there are tiny wax golems their heads all lit wicks of flame, um, walking around, flitting about the place, and uh, keeping the area illuminated, and just sort of helping to sort through the papers. Wait, so there are moving candles? Yes. And a place where there's that much paper? Correct. They're so cute. So this is so, so dangerous. Well, yeah, this How is, big this is not a wax regulation. golem, just for clarity's sake? Oh, okay. I'm going to say that they're probably about this tall. Okay. Aww. Oh, they're dope. So they climb up on the chair and onto the desk and things like that. And they're like, like frolicking, it seems like. They're, they're cavorting. Okay. Yeah. Be our guest. Yeah. Be yeah. our guest. <laughs> um, <laughs> is Jake still with us? Or is, how big is Jake? Oh, yeah, Jake, Jake, Jake is a human-sized uh, robot okay. with little wings. He's been basically fluttering behind you like a, a buzzing dragonfly. Okay. Jake, are you going to light up or whatever whenever we find something that's worth it? Are you gonna? Do you have an alert? Or could you? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Could you demonstrate what it would be, look like? 
<laughs> yeah, you couldn't see he was doing it to me, so you, knew, you needed the eye contact. I just thought contact. that was part of his social interaction. I didn't no, know that was not, the No, he's not just whimsically so the, charmed by me. Yeah, so the, <laughs> well, obviously. Have you seen a mirror lately? I, oh, whoa. whoa. I mean, look, look at this. Whoa. I don't know whoa. what choices you've made, I'm, I'm, but they have led you to a... I'm a beautiful a, dragonborn flower, and I... Are you a dragonborn? Yeah. yeah. You with, look with, like a yeah. bamboo creature. Well, I'm, they're not mutually exclusive, as it turns out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bamboo I, Dragonborn, totally badass. I yeah. start. I, I try to like look at what's on the desk. Uh, you see schematics, diagrams, ima uh, drawings of rooms, drawings of little people falling into fire, um, and, and <laughs> uh, drawings of little people impaled on spikes in a wall. Aww. Yeah. Oh, is this signed so, Bluetooth? So, so the, the Tomb of Annihilation exists. Uh, in the, like, for us, have we know, do we know of its existence? You would have heard of it by reputation. The Tomb of Horrors is like a death trap. Is dungeon. it possible that I have actually survived it? And no. this is very upsetting. No. <laughs> no. As a level Or have one. died in it. Yeah. What, uh, what, what I would immediately like to do, seeing all of you these. You died outside the Tomb of Horrors. You <laughs> didn't even get it. <laughs> like, I, I've heard by reputation. I mean, it's, if it's referred to as the Tomb of Annihilation or the Tomb of Horrors, it's like, yeah, I get this is going to be a bad place. Oh, yes, all of the death traps. I'm just going to, while they're looking for stuff, I'm just going to start editing these blueprints. Oh, okay. Um, so that when they build it, it's nicer. <laughs> <laughs> so you sit down at the desk, you pull out a, a quill pen, and you start drawing what? Like just uh, like the tomb bunnies. of vacation. <laughs> I mean, like maybe <laughs> sometimes maybe like some of the pits would have like nice, nice cushions in them. Okay, like trampolines oh. maybe. Yeah, like uh, okay. you know. But also like for real though, I'm gonna like actually make it so that if somebody isn't paying attention and they build it to spec. Sometimes it's like, oh no, terrible death trap. Oh, it's pudding. It's, yes. Well, no, not pudding because nobody would actually put pudding in it. But well, right. they're also pudding monsters. So. Uh, yeah. Wrong. But pudding. you see, you do see a schematic that has a diagram for a pit that drops people into fire. So you can sort of rub out or you know uh, change the fire into something like pudding, or or like script some of the measurements where it's yes. like, oh, well, this fall would obviously kill somebody. But here, it's like, oh, we're going to angle the shaft. Like, right. I, as a paladin, I'm like, this is my chance to really do some good, and I'm going to go in and do oh, that. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Can I do the same thing, only I'm going to put a back door in it? <laughs> so I can go <laughs> sure. steal everything. Yeah, the shortcut um, in. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. shortcut that gets yeah, so you, you right you're, in the you're both And I look over, I'm like, oh, that's great, so yeah. people can escape. So people can escape, and everyone's okay, and no one takes all the gold. Yeah, and all high five. five. Oh, oh, paladins, so they're, they're at the table, at the desk, <laughs> rifling through stuff, sorting through stuff, making changes. I'm what using, are the rest of you doing? I'm using Jake as a metal detector around the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just trying to find what the thing is that we're supposed to grab. Oh, okay. Um, so, apart from the papers and apart from the desk, there's not a heck of a lot in here. This looks like a temporary station. Mm. Like, the desk was just put here so Mogadam would not be in a noisy area of the tomb. Mm. So, Craig, this is really disappointing. This isn't really what we were looking for. So Yeah, when I said Mogadam's workshop, I meant the place where we actually want to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which... <laughs> Let me ask this, Craig. Like, Don't listen to them. This is great, you know? <laughs> so, Craig, have, have you here, seen anything that just seems really out of the ordinary? Mm. Feels like it shouldn't belong here. Right. Like, uh, there's, a, there's a paladin getting his soul sucked out in the chapel. I stand up and it knocks over my chair. <laughs> Where? I want to see. I mean, he may want that to be happening. Maybe it's future no. you right now. In the chapel? Yeah. Well, Craig, can you show us the chapel, please? That sounds He points to a map with the chapel on it. <laughs> you don't want to walk us in there? I mean, I, yeah, I can. Sure, we want you with us, Craig. Craig oh, okay, I, sorry, yeah. I misunderstood you. You're I, part of the group now. Yeah, do you need a weapon? No. Okay. Well, that's what you think, Craig. <laughs> 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 I was yeah, more I'll, concerned I'll, how quickly he <laughs> left it off. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm like aware to rest. optimism. Aware to rest. So I, I know the way, and I can lead you there. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, let's it, do it, Craig. Mungadam said the VIP way. tour. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He walks you back to the tunnel that you left earlier. Um, okay. When you get into the tunnel, there one of the pits in that tunnel has some planks across it so the workers can get across the pit easily without falling to their deaths on what looked like to be some fresh spikes that are laid down mm. underneath it. Um, 
When you cross in over that, there's a short passageway. It looks like they're getting ready to install some sort of secret door or something, but it isn't in yet. Uh, and there's an open door that's been propped open with um, a splinter of bone. So, Craig, I, real quick question. Is, is there any workers' comp in your agreement with... Workmen's what? Uh, yeah, like just some kind of ability. You know, what if somebody fell off that yeah, is there, plank right there? Yeah, is there a sign that says how many days it's been since someone's died on the job? <laughs> oh, my gosh. No. Quick answers. Has anybody that ever died? That sounds terrible. You Has just somebody saw died? Someone, like five minutes ago. The guy. Umber Hulk, like, yeah. completely yeah. mangled. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's horrible. If you, hit a, if you hang out with us, you won't have to die ever. Yeah, ever. <laughs> yes, under tomorrow's <laughs> guidance, your soul will be protected <laughs> for That's throughout not eternity. At all. Uh, okay, uh, so this is the artisan's chambers. <laughs> uh, and you can hear there's lots of ambient noise and hammering and thunking and thudding and all that kind of stuff going on uh, that you can't see. Uh, but there are some makeshift cots here where different artisans can crash if they get too tired. Uh, there's, um, you hear almost a rhythmic chanting sound getting louder as he leads you through these chambers into a great hallway, um, as great as the one that's being covered with murals. Uh, but this area is a little bit different in terms of its decor. It's a busy and noisy site. People are still plastering the walls and doing the murals, but uh, you can also see watching over them is a massive four-armed gorilla. Mm. Helping to light the area by holding mm. torches in each of its big monster hands. Uh, does this gorilla look like the uh, the gargoyle statue? Vaguely, Kay. yeah, without the wings. Don't the, oh, the gorilla has this. Why does yeah. everything wings have wings? Or the forms? gargoyle does? Uh, I don't say that out loud. Um, that's a that's a very good question, and I'm glad you brought it up. Uh, it a Sararak has a particular fetish for four armed things. Oh. Well, I'm not going to judge. Yeah. I guess because it's better everyone than two their, arms. Everyone okay. has their own thing. Right? Yeah. Right. Scarier, maybe? Ooh. Sure. Yeah. So <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a four-armed gargoyle on order. Well, that's... Uh, well, I mean, who it's a really hard that? find. Right. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take. That's so exciting shipping, for you guys. I'm sure I don't know how long please. it'll take to arrive, but we're supposed to get its chamber prepared in, in short order, and I think uh, we'll get it done. Oh, yeah, you guys are do-it-to-it do it people. Yeah. Uh, so there's a small room over there I won't take you to. Let's go down the hall. Excuse me, Mr. Girillon. Oh, uh, yeah, what's see. that small room that you're not going to take us to? Yeah, we're very curious about the thing you specifically called I thought you wanted to go out. to the chapel. I'm just curious. We were going to save a... Oh, yeah. Just a curious person. We still want to save the paladin, but if, if you mm. specifically say you don't want us to go into a place, <laughs> okay. well... Well, it's, it's, it's called the escape room. Here, I'll take you into the escape room. Oh. Uh, you can see it's a, it's a side chamber, Craig says. Um, the sculptors have utilized the side chamber to uh, plan their escape... Uh, in the possible event that they get sealed inside the tomb. Oh, oh. it's kind of like what you did, oh. what you were yeah. doing on the planet. I thought you meant those crummy things where you go in and you have to do all these weird puzzles and like you, you can't get You take that back, out. those things are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> inside the room you can see a life-size sculpture of a winged gorilla-like creature with four arms. Oh. Uh, it's sort of pushed into a corner right now. It's not quite finished, it looks like it's kind of half sculpted, really. Um, but you can see there's a book laid out on a lectern in front of it, and it's filled with all these arcane glyphs Ooh. and symbols I'm and in it. <laughs> mystical diagrams. And when you uh, sort of take a close look at it and you look at the spine, it says, Manual of Stone Golems. Uh, Jake, what do you think, Jake? <laughs> what do I think of what? Jake, the, what do you think of this book? Is this the thing? Oh, I can't read that book. It's far too... Jake, can you, have you been able to talk this whole time? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, Jake says, yes. I thought that was this guy that moment. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> with my, with wait, my powers out of on Craig us. imitation. Yeah, is Jake Craig from the future? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> he is now. <laughs> His heart is dead. The doc figured out how to yeah. his yes. consciousness. Oh right. Uh, <laughs> I am future Craig. I'm going to steal the ma the, 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 the tome oh. to make stone golems. Uh, well, not steal is like a harsh oh word. Oh my gosh, I'm get, borrow. get your user manual to make friends with it. Oh, yeah. Like, okay. Do they? Well, let's see how this well, goes. Well, if you take so that, get along. If you, if you take that book, they won't be able to finish the golem. Uh, well, I'm not going to take it. I'm just going to borrow it. And, and see if it's accurate. We're just going to take it with us on the tour. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's you did it. did say VIP tour. No, I mean, 
Yeah. Yeah, totally VIPs VIP. can do whatever we want. Clear it. Yeah, they're going to steal it. They're stealing this. Listen. I mean, Tamora, I have to report you. You have all, <laughs> listen, you have already you seen how already? bad Tamora is. I'm sorry, I have to report you. If you could see <laughs> the, bath, <laughs> the corn cob no, no, it's, stuck. It's, well, and, well, I'm just, I'm just saying, it, this is a VIP tour. You were told to show us around. We are very important people, but I respect you too much to lie to you. I mean, that, Thank that's you. just wrong. No, no, no he's listen, right. The paladin's not, totally right. I was going to steal from you, and I'm very sorry. I will not do it. It mm. was the wrong call. You, my friend, I forget your name. Yeah. Very lawful. Dirk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's your name. Dirk. <laughs> yeah, uh, Dirk. Dirk, you're right. I shouldn't steal it. Mm. I put the other book back with left hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, while you, uh, so you're gonna you're gonna put the manual back. Yeah, like I'm gonna take the you know the jacket off the book. <laughs> 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 And put it on the mimic book. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my god. The mimic book actually thinks this is funny and makes itself look like the other book. Uh, <laughs> that's a total of seventeen. You're successful. Yeah. You pulled a bait and switch. Thank you for teaching me the right way to do things. And I'm assuming I didn't even see this. I'm being really earnest. I'm like, yeah. hey, you know, I you've don't really it. done good by <laughs> us. Thank and, you for putting back yeah. the book. That was the right thing to do. You're right. I feel better about myself <laughs> and everyone Craig, around me. Hey, Craig, just like. If and you playing, all should too. If we're all playing hypotheticals, like if you if we stole the book, then you would have to report us. Well, same thing. If you reported us, we probably would have to kill you. And I'm not. We're not saying we will, but it, we're. <laughs> you see, we're, you see, Jake kind of go. We're just yeah. We're playing the hypothetical game, and I just want to take it yeah, as far so as we need to. Do, do, does everyone know that that's future, Craig? That Jake is. Or do you know? Jake says, yeah, I'm future Craig. <laughs> <laughs> so, so listen. Because so, he said that Jake! way. Yeah. Wow. Craig, yeah. We already know that you're not going to rat us out because Jake is here. Yeah. You see what? Well, this see could how be that you in the future, a if skeleton. If you are still alive in the future, oh, wait. Maybe, wait, maybe that's, maybe how that's why he's still alive. Gets downloaded. He gave us up. Maybe we kill him and then he goes into wait, the robot. Wait, hey, Jake. Is Craig who we take back? <laughs> Wait, <Jake. laughs> rewind. <laughs> well, your device doesn't work. I, uh, sh rewind. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, All right, let's start this again with the good lying that I did and the crappy truth that you told me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going back to a time when she threatened his life. Got it. Yeah. Before that. Okay. No, 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 after no, that. no, after that. Okay. that Before the happened. threatening of the life. I mean, it didn't threaten him. Just told him how things were. Okay. Before the other exposition, yes. Yes. Okay. About and, Craig's fate. And, and I go, and I'm like, guys, and I'm like, don't worry. Like, be happy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, really let, I wouldn't let them do that to you. Okay. Yeah, he's a paladin. And, I mean, but like I said, if something attacks us in here and it's, it's a rampaging monster, you're going to get it too. So, and that's why I really appreciate you've taken us through the good parts of this. You know, we're, we can all be friends here. I mean, sh she'll try to kill you and I'll try to stop her and then everything's a mess. So let's not do that. Yeah. Okay? You've really yeah. helped us out here. Okay. Okay. I mean, he's outnumbered, though, and he's going to go down. Yeah, and then I'll die, and it'll be your fault. No, that's not true. <laughs> so, that's not true. <laughs> so this is the escape room. Yep. Okay, yep. <laughs> thanks, Craig. Thanks, thanks man. Th thank and you, down Craig. here, down the hall, if you'll, if you'll follow me. <laughs> this poor boy. If you'll follow me. I've decided the way I want to move is like a spokes wheel with my bamboo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to be able to, uh, yes. Cartwheel your cartwheel way down. Cartwheel my way hall. down, yeah. Yeah, yeah when you need to, I'm just going to like just push you along. Yeah, like a, like yes. a kid with a stick and a hoop. Yeah. <laughs> Craig, will, Craig will point to two doors on one wall and say, those are both false doors. Oh, you tricky tricksters. Why are, yeah, why are we building those then? It's a trick oh, to yeah. adventurers. Exactly. Like, yeah. But what's, what good is a false door? They're just going to get to the door. Yeah. They won't be able to open it. They'll see nothing's beyond it. Well, th it's a very short-lived trick is well, what no, I'm here, at. Try it. This, this is your first tomb. No, here. Go. Just <laughs> it do is. it. Yeah, look at okay, it. Go, right. go try to open it. You'll see. Now, Craig, why don't you show us? Okay. He opens the door, and a spear comes out and kills him. And I rewind it. <laughs> <laughs> I have okay. my finger <laughs> down. Uh, I have my finger on, on the button. No, 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 and then I, and then no, I push it. I push it while looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to slap it out of his <laughs> <laughs> Make a Just make an attack roll against his AC. 
high rifle around uh, in his That pockets. is a, uh, just like an unarmed strike? Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay, so that's a 16? What's, uh, my AC is 18, if it makes okay, sense. Okay, so you're able to hold on to the device. What's funny is that you're in, a little goody good. In this, in this fiction, if we don't remember, every time we use these devices, we think it's the first time we're yeah. using these devices, right? Correct. Yeah. That, this is the best. Yes. This is the best. <laughs> I, keep, I keep thinking, I'm only going to do this once because it's funny, and every time I think it's the only time, yes. the first time oh that I'm going to do so this. So these are the false doors, says Craig as he walks past them. Hmm. So, hmm. Yeah, great. We're who more needs, in, who you needs should them. check What's the out? deal with false doors? No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, man. Well, you know, they're, they're to mess with adventurers. See, it's already messing with you. Obviously. You're like, what's up with that yeah. door? All right, let, let's get to the chapel. I feel like we wasted Yeah, wait, there's a paladin time. to save, maybe. Oh, yeah. Huh. Okay. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> or a reviver. Probably, you can probably see that there are now. these and small... that's important because... Uh, this hallway sort of dead ends at an archway with a little bit of a niche behind it that's big enough for somebody to walk into. But there are also these small little... They almost look like rat holes uh, on the walls. Circular tunnels that you have to crawl through to get to certain places. And he says, here's a tunnel here, one of these tube tunnels that you have to crawl through to get to the chapel. There's also one down there that goes to the chest room. And I don't know if you want to go to the chest room or not, because um, last time I asked you if you want to go to the chapel, you then said, no, let's go to the escape room. And so we went to the escape room. So I just wanted to double check. Yeah. Are we going to We've the been chapel? We've a little unclear, Craig. Yeah. yeah. You Understood. Fulfill, can you t explain I can take what's you to in both. the chest room? What's in the chest room? Three chests. And what's in those chests? Um, I'm not sure. They were delivered uh, intact. There was a gold chest, there was an oak chest, and if I did my homework and read the adventure ahead of time, I would remember that the other chest is I'm what? just assuming a human torso. These are different chests. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one made of gold, one made of silver, and one made of oak. Oh, so, and I then, liked his joke better. <laughs> can, it, yeah. can, can it be a human chest? <laughs> I'm immediately disappointed. Um, so, and yeah, let's go to the chest room. <laughs> no, we okay. Well, right, we can get to go to the chest room after we're save a paladin. The paladin. I'm curious about these tunnel like holes though. You said they're like rat holes. Yeah, they're, the holes are about two feet in diameter. Oh, no. They're circular, and you have to crawl through them to so navigate when you them. Let me know huge how it rats. <laughs> but the traps haven't been installed, so they're perfectly safe. Oh, interesting. Yeah, uh, but they're little. They like, are, they are, they are tight. Uh, yeah. You mm -hmm. holy men should go and save your paladin brother. Mm. And Listen, I will go I have check hooves. Out I have room. nothing to, like... Wedge against the ground to push me forward. Right. Like it's just like Maybe it would just slide. Says Craig. Sounds like you need some of this candy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting we'll just, in the we'll hole. just push you. It'll be like cleats. You could use them like you. cilia. Okay, but there's there's the only way to the chapel is What's to go through cilia? the hole. <laughs> You're telling me that as a worker that had to build that chapel, there's not another back way. They, they closed that off. I mean, this is like when they say there's not a restroom. They closed that the... off because the rats were getting in. Mm. Oh, Let's well, just go. That, that Come is... on. If we want to save a paladin, no, no day like that. Okay. Most of the chapel is done at this point. It's like the most finished part of the dungeon. I'm going to close my eyes, and somebody's got to push me. Cool. Uh, okay, I push him. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, that sounds like a great time to do our next round of donations. We have $10 from Snack Paxson. We have $35 from Larry Mel Halleck, who is going to have Pat roll on the uh, magic table, wild <laughs> magic table. We have Book Gnome Blog, who says, have fun, Pat, another roll on the wild <laughs> magic table. Okay. And we have $10 from The Real Coror. In addition, uh, Pat, on his personal Extra Life page, had someone donate for a re-roll oh, to use yay. at your Woo. future discretion. Cool. Rolly roll. Uh, 28. No, I'm sorry, 82. 82. There's a lot of 80s. Yeah. You can take one additional action immediately. <laughs> uh, I'll push him over. Okay. And then like shove him real hard in the butt so he scoots. Like, <laughs> All right. It's like one action to push him over and then like. Into the game hole. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Into the game yeah. hole. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah. It's funny because that's where we are. Yeah. <laughs> did you say what? into the game hole or in the game hole? Like, what did you say? Kick, kick, him, kick him right into that <laughs> game hole. <laughs> Both work. Okay. All right. so, I didn't roll. know you were that kind of paladin. Uh, I'm going to go to 61. the chest room. I'm just going to sleep 61. off. 61. 
For the okay. next minute, you must shout when you speak. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Audio person, he must shout when he speaks. All right, so you're going to go into the chest room, which is through a different tube-shaped hole. Okay. Um, so oh, no, I don't think we should split the party. <laughs> 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 That's the only one you got. <laughs> All right, after a short distance of crawling through this hole, uh, you end up in a room that, surprise, surprise, has three chests on the floor. Um, mm -hmm. There is a gold one, a silver one, and an oak one. They look very sturdy. Um, with, with beautiful steel fittings. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Uh-huh. Um, uh, I use Mage Hand to touch the chests and tr yeah. see if I can... Okay, and they're big, traps too. or anything like, like that. This, bi this big and then, like, this tall. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. I'm when I see the ghostly hand go forward... You rush your ghostly hand. Yeah. I but you're going to the chapel, up. right? Oh, oh, yeah. You yeah. Are. Yes, oh, you're not there. Just it's us? just that. It's just like I got in behind <laughs> you, assuming they were coming. I'm, I'm with the paladin babies. Okay, me too. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> you're the only one. <laughs> yes. Paladin babies. <laughs> yes. We so make your alone. dreams come <laughs> true. Paladin <laughs> babies <laughs> will do the same for you. A new D and D cartoon coming in soon. <laughs> when your game is kind of weird, <laughs> <laughs> you work. Uh, Right. Hold tomorrow to oh, your heart. Still going. Oh, it's and still <laughs> happening, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and you can be really bored. It's kind of like that guy brings a folk guitar to a party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Makes a big deal about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I do this. That singing, that, singing, that singing fills this room. Yeah, and Ooh. you have to scream it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I said speaking, not singing. <laughs> So yes, Paladin babies, <laughs> <laughs> we make your dreams come true. <laughs> Whichever pagan deity I pray to, please make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sorry, uh, I was in your ear. <laughs> I get inspiration. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I, that so much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I'm opening a chest. Uh, the gold, silver, or oak one? Ooh. I'm going oak. Oak. <laughs> All right. I've, I've seen Indiana Jones. Oh. Uh, you realize that it is locked. You may need thieves' tools to get into this I will thing. use thieves' tools. Make a dexterity check. Okay. And I'm proficient. Well, I have them. I'm proficient. Mm -hmm. Something, something, something. And that's an 11 plus my proficiency, which is 2, which is 13. All right. Uh, you are not able to get that open. Mm. There was nothing good in that one anyways. I'm going to go on to the next one. The silver one? Yeah. Great. Oh, well, that wasn't tenic. No, okay. Yeah, I failed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can't open that one either. The gold one? Please Let's go for the gold again. one. All right. Pat? Uh, that's a fail too. Wow, that's okay. <laughs> Embarrassing all around. <laughs> Good thing nobody was here to see it. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like you, you, sneak, look, you look up at a video camera. In the corner. You sneak off to this room <laughs> yeah. and you're like, which one of these things is a traffic light? Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. So, thwarted by these chests, what do you do? Uh, I get very upset and I kick it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I can't. Does anyone else? Uh, Nobody's there. Nobody's no. there. <laughs> <laughs> That's when he realizes he's by himself. I yes. look around for a key. <laughs> a key? Yeah, maybe there's a key or something. Uh, okay, make a perception check to search. Oh, good. This will only be a one, I'm sure. And, oh, good. Yeah, nine. Brilliant. Mm. Yep. It's almost like D&D &D was made to play with your friends. <laughs> 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 well, at least mostly. <laughs> All right, well, I kick the dirt and I just go back up the table. Okay. He comes out morose into the hall. And they're gone. <laughs> uh, the rest of you have already gone ahead with Craig, following a long, meandering, tube-shaped tunnel that gets very, very claustrophobic until it spills out of the corner of a room that is 70 feet square. Mm with a high ceiling buttressed with arches, you can see stone pews are arranged in two rows facing an altar 
at the far like end of, of this play. chapel. And what other interesting features are here? Uh, you can see the pews are filled with more than two dozen worshipers. And oddly, uh, with two large chunks of rough black stone. The chapel appears dedicated to some skeletal looking being with one eye and then one empty eye socket. Mm -hmm. uh, it's decorated with artwork and symbols in uh, honor of this entity. The worshipers, all humanoid, seem exhausted by their chanting. They just want to stop. And as you watch, one of them sort of keels over and collapses and then is suddenly and horrifyingly petrified into stone, into black stone. At the far end of the chapel, a handsome priest stands behind an altar block that glows opalescent blue. This priest is missing his left eye and his left hand, but has a second set of arms grafted to his body. <laughs> All three of his arms gesture as if directing the worshippers like a conductor. Two of these four-armed gor uh, gorilla creatures flank him, and each of them is missing an eye and a hand. And uh, what would you like to do at that point? Go back in the tunnel? <laughs> <laughs> um, do I see a tortured paladin? Yes. Uh, as you look, there is a paladin who is prostrate in front of the altar. Um, and Did you uh, say prostrate? Yeah. I'm just checking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, Let's get those mixed up. Uh, he, he seems to, uh, he is, first of all, appears to be a, either a dragonborn or a half dragon. Like me. Yes. And you can see that what you assume to be his life force, or maybe it's his faith, you don't know, is being literally sucked out of him into the altar. Do you recognize that symbol? Do I recognize that symbol? Go ahead. Because I, I didn't study any of that. Uh, <laughs> religion? Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my reroll. Oh, nice. That makes a 12. No. Mm. It, does the skeletal one eyed uh, guy look al alive <clears throat> or like a statue? Like uh, the priest? No, oh, the, um, the thing that they're worshiping. Uh, that look, it kind of looks lich like. Okay. So even though I did not take to my studies. <laughs> I'm doing so much to try to remember really, really hard because I want to show him up. Mm -hmm. Do I maybe you know make what a that is? Check. I'm going to use my inspiration here. <laughs> Very good. Um, yeah, only 15 for me. Uh, you think that it might be the representation of an ancient wizard turned... Well, I think that it might be the representation... <laughs> turned <laughs> lich, turned uh, demigod called Vecna. Pro oh. Probably Vecna, if I was to venture a guess. Let me know what I'm Immediately, everyone starts chanting Vecna. Vecna. <laughs> Vecna. Like, Vecna. We roll work, Vecna. Sherlock. Vecna. <laughs> I've been saying it the whole time. Yes, the entire, we just never listen it to what says they were saying. It's carved into the arch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Vecna banners. <laughs> yes. From the ceiling. Welcome, Welcome uh, to VecnaCon. The priest. <laughs> 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 Vecticon is actually a really good name. Yeah. <laughs> we, shouldn't, we shouldn't mock that too seriously. Uh, I, I do a check-in with Jake uh, to see if, his, his, if he gets whimsically charmed. Uh, Jake is looking around, uh, but he's kind of at the back, and there are all the people oh, in the pews okay. and stuff, so he can't get a good look. Uh, Craig um, waves to the priest, and the priest gestures you all to come in. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, am I there the yet? VIP tour. Yes. And so uh, you're not there yet, okay. uh, but everybody else is in the room. Craig, who is that? Oh, that's, that's, that's um, Fenix. He's, he's sort of a priest conducting ceremonies here. You know, morale. I, I, as, we're, as we're walking forward, I point, I point to the person who fell over and turned to stone, and I'm like, morale? Yeah. Is, is the black stone that's being taken to the top of the hill, is it petrified people? Ah, uh, yeah, it could be. <laughs> uh, uh, you, you can see that the, the two forearm creatures get kind of protective as you draw closer to the priest. And as you get closer to the priest, you see um, 
that uh, he is just ravishingly beautiful, with the exception of the fact that he's chopped off one of his hands mm. and he's gouged out one of his eyes. <laughs> but otherwise, he's really pretty. Nice. Yeah. And uh, you can see that the, the half-dragon paladin um, is just being sucked of every is, ounce of his... Does, does this paladin look to be like the, like the sort of paladin that, like was on the recruitment poster when yeah. I went to the Or to does the, it look paladin. like the better kind of paladin <laughs> that wasn't what, on what that? I, what I'm really wondering is, like, is this the sort of paladin that if I do, like, get him off the altar, he will be awesome enough to keep us all from not dying? He or looks pretty drained <clears throat> at the moment. You're not sure how much strength he has in his physical body, although he is half dragon, half gold dragon. Right? Oh. So he is, he is poster boy for paladinhood. Um, and uh, so, Craig, is, did he ask for this? Does he want this sucking to be happening? Well, I assume he's getting something good in return. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Craig. Oh, Craig. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, maybe he's not in danger. I, 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 <laughs> oh, uh, by now, Jake is far enough up that he can see uh, built into the altar are metal parts uh, to sort of empower it that he sort of points to excitedly. Yeah, it, it, is it one of these? Mm. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, and Jake found, Jake found what he wants. Hey, you keep okay. talking all your boring okay. talk. Keep talking to there are silver wire I'm panels. On it. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to communicate with, with these compatriots about the metal stuff. Okay, and he, he said, go talk your boring talk. So I'm like, great, it? you know, like fellow, fellow religious leader. I start to sneak off just a little bit, but then I click clack so much that I just walk back and stay yeah. with him. <laughs> there are also like 60 people in here, so it's really hard to sneak around anywhere. Uh, am I with her yet? I'm going to be. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you would probably pop through the hole at this point. Yeah, I'm going to just cast uh, Armor of Agathus on myself, <laughs> just in case. I, yeah, well, I think we both want to investigate yeah. that. I'm just going to kind of float slowly oh, back yeah. in the direction. <laughs> to the altar? Yeah. yeah. Okay. When you get close to the altar, the, the big gorilla monsters are paying close attention to you. Um, you look shifty. And uh, the priest says, this paladin is sacrificing his faith to, for a better world. Is he doing this willingly? Eh, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God that you have him restrained so that he couldn't. He'll be able to save some other very important people by doing this. Sacrifice. Oh, like VIPs? No, no, not like VIPs. How, Who are these important people? Yeah. Others like him, um, who oh. we've trapped. Oh. Where are those people? Oh, no, I can't tell you that. Why not? Because I'm evil. <laughs> I rewind that little bit of the conversation. <laughs> 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 I'm, like, I'm like, we got to step. I'm like, Zzz. Uh, we're going to go a little bit off. Uh, uh, and I'll be like, uh, you know, I, thank goodness he can't get off of that real easy and run around and make a hell of a mess. Guy mm. like him. Yeah. Uh, Good thing. Yeah, even though, like, it doesn't look like he's tied up. Um, how did you manage that? Oh, this was willing. He, he did it. As a, oh, as so a he's just laying there on his own? Yeah, he, he, he came here to try to free these, these good beings that we've trapped in the tomb, and... We said if he gives us his faith and his soul, we'll release them. Oh. And now, uh, do you intend I think he's to the, follow I think, through? Well, I think he's the one the master wanted anyway. Oh, right. right. Are you going to release the people that he's sacrificing himself for? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make an insight check? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need one. <laughs> yeah. um, I got a three on that with okay. a one on the die, so oh, I, I believe him. Mm -hmm. I want to start weaving into the crowd, yeah. like one of the cultists, like one of the people who are praying, and I'm just doing my best, like, back da, back da, back da. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. Like showing up and trying to sing along with the Honestly, hand. most of them are kind of doing that now, too, because they're just so tired. They've been chanting this. So this this paladin has so much goodness in him, it's taking forever to suck it all out. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, what do we find around the altar? Like, are we able to remove any of the goodies? So they're, they're sort of embedded in the altar. You'd have to kind of tear, tear it apart. You don't think the, the gorilla monsters are going to let you just do that. Because mm -hmm. the altar is what's sucking in this paladin's so good, goodness. Okay. Can those gorilla monsters fit through these holes? No. They're in here forever. Potentially. You do see that there is uh, a cubicle off to one side of the temple that just looks like an archway with a niche behind it large enough to fit maybe a single creature. Hmm. But you don't see any exits in there, so maybe they are stuck in here. Wait, are the inlays that, that Jake's excited about, are they metal? Yes. I want to I wanna fire them up with lightning and see what happens. Uh, just um, shooting lightning at the altar? Yeah, just shoot lightning at the All altar. Right, excellent. My goal is to like make it maybe vibrate, make and the metal vibrate. And this is what's creating the lightning. What are you using? My dragonborn power. Oh. <laughs> Your breath weapon? My breath weapon. You're like breathing on the altar with lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, I love it. Yeah. Hey, you gave the us kids. a rewind <laughs> button. Let's try everything. <laughs> <laughs> you subtle. electrify the altar and... Dermormu, uh, I come to bargain. The, the priest goes, <laughs> no! <laughs> and uh, suddenly you see the altar take in all of that excess energy and it just thrums with incredible power and everybody around it Yourself, the priest, the, the, the gorilla monsters, just get um, thrown back off the altar as it sucks in all of that electrical energy. And uh, the, pal the connection with the paladin is broken. Uh, hey, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Are, can you? I'm like trying to and slap him. And when it breaks, all of the people in the pews turn to stone, petrify, and fall to pieces around oh, you. Oh, no. What a decision. Oh! <laughs> Oh, gross. This yes. is so gross. Okay. I don't know. Like, they were probably yeah. evil. They should were we evil re anyway. Should we rewind here? No. 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 No, 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 no. All these people just died. No, but they were evil. So, what if they were doing slaves? evil things and they were unsavable and your oath says that you must do the greater good. I haven't don't. taken an oath yet. I haven't decided who I want to be. Yeah. I've got an idea for you. Don't press the button. That's your new oath. All I'm saying, all these people just died. Yeah, they're, they're, but people is a loose term. <laughs> they're technically Whoa, I was on board until <laughs> one second. I pushed the button. They were so evil. <laughs> um, does, do the metal, does the metal look easier to grab now? Uh, it looks electrically charged. Okay. Um, uh, so the no. altar is crackling with electricity and uh, just drawing all that excess power into it. Mm -hmm. You've created sort of like an overloaded battery or something. Okay. Um, you can also see that the, the priest looks genuinely terrified, like he's sort of lost control oh. of the yeah. altar. Yes. <laughs> see, evil scared, good. So uh, uh, it did, what was the paladin's response to his deal? Uh, up, but he's, he's kind of in a weird fugue state. And I go, no, 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 not like that. I and he said, the paladin just sort of looks at you and says, you're, you're not from this time. Oh. Right, but, but no, here's how you do it. How would you know watch, that? Watch, this is how you do it. <laughs> and I get squared up again. He goes, ting. And I'm like, come with us if you want to live. <laughs> See, that's how you do it. And <laughs> as I'm slapping him, I'm laying yes. on hands. Oh, okay. Aww. That helps. He, he sort of comes to his senses a little bit there. <laughs> Uh, and I want to just do all ten. And says, "Sorry, I, I couldn't remember what I was doing." Do you doing have that here. at level two? I think so. What is this place? <laughs> I don't have Leia. I think it's per <laughs> level. Why is or nobody answering my question? What, 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 what's wrong? What? 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 what, what what's going on? Yes. My, uh, We're from the future. That's true. Monkey thing. There. Hey, he mm -hmm. says, "I I don't know, know how I got here." Uh, we don't know how you got here either, but we were sent back from the future. I feel like some of my memories have been taken from me. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. I bet you if think I break open that altar, they'll come out. Yeah. Uh, the priest shouts, The altar has a mind of its own now! Cool! <laughs> <laughs> it will kill us all! Oh, not if, not, not if we do so this cool. plan. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going I'm to move and I'm going to like walk behind where the monkeys are. I got okay. my Before our monkeys. I'm, just gonna, I'm not... <laughs> the priest is shouting, It's alive! I'm just standing next to them, behind them, and then I just kind of right. crouch down. And, what? and I sort of he, he okay. down and and and, and uh, because I do know how lightning <laughs> should work, <laughs> I'm going to try to diffuse the lightning into their body. So I'm going to push push one backwards so it trips over his crouch downness, so he lands onto the altar and absorbs some of the 
the electrical power. One of the power. gorilla monsters? Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. Uh, just, since you're shoving it, yeah. just go ahead and make a strength athletics check. Okay. Can I help so her somehow? You can, and so she has advantage on that. Okay. Yay! Nice. I'm going to summon a tentacle. You just crouch down behind <laughs> it, so she pushes, <laughs> yeah. she pushes it over you, basically. Yeah. Okay. Okay, just a standard. And you have a tentacle. String. Yeah, half Goonies. Yeah. Half uh, 17. Cthulhu. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I summon a 10 foot tentacle in front of everyone, <laughs> filling the temple somewhat. The 17 foot tentacle? No, 10 no. foot. Oh, 10, 10 foot. That's still pretty scary. Give me time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How much time do you need? <laughs> it's cold in here. <laughs> How much encouragement? It's been a long day. <laughs> oh oh. Sorry, uh, PG-13. Um, uh, so with the druid hunkered down behind the gorilla monster, yes. you're able to push it over the druid. It flops onto the altar, and uh, you see that it gets absorbed into the altar. It just sort of folds and collapses in a Ew. really horrific way. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool! <laughs> and then do it again. Like, do it do again to this other one. <laughs> Almost like the altar is like this dimensional vortex thing oh, that wow. you've created. And did it get l more or less lightningy? Uh, it got less lightningy. Hey! But then it sort of. Uh, <laughs> but you can see there's just sort of blood now seeping out from the f the altar onto the floor around you. Oh, we can mop that up. <laughs> Druid craft. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well. I, I I think this is a great en energy source for us. Uh, wait, does it? For us? <laughs> what are we gonna do with that? I don't know. Fuel a time machine. It's, uh, it, it is. Um, Craig says Muggenheim's gonna be pissed. It's it's what Jake it's what Jake <laughs> says that um that Koalish wants. The metal the metal inside of this. Yeah. Right. I the multi tool. Wait, is Craig okay. with us? Oh. I start looking yeah. for a tool. Oh, I push Craig into it. Apart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, wait! You no, wait! No, you push wait. Craig let's in. He, let's hear out what horrible thing happens first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe this is how Craig becomes Craig. <laughs> Jake. Maybe. Jake. Craig Jake. Craig Jake. Jake. All right. So. Craig? Craig. <laughs> We have $10 from the real Coror. We have $10 from Troll House that says love every one of your campaigns, Chris. Aww. Didn't specify which. <laughs> uh, $10 from Puddle Images that says thank you. I don't you. like that. And then uh, Pat has now suddenly developed a phobia of pamphlets. <laughs> 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 Obviously coming from this dark energy off the altar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. And back from commercial. Okay, nice. okay. So you... Uh, <laughs> <made it>. <laughs> <laughs> What is flying. your oh, no. deal, man? You're my favorite, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> you shove, uh, just make an attack roll. Are you shove, sorry, a strength athletics check. You're just shoving him. Okay, use the tentacle to shove him. You sure can. <laughs> okay. Oh, You're going to slap Craig uh, with your tentacles. <laughs> yeah. d and D Beyond, tell me how my tentacle Later, works. Later, scene stealer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I feel bad. Uh... Yeah, you I'll should. Just this is Craig. Ah, uh, 17. Ah, uh, you succeed. And when he hits the altar, first of all, he's electrocuted. <laughs> and second of all, his body is absorbed into the altar, diminishing uh, the electrical charge even more. Oh. Oh. Um, and after that happens, uh, what do you do? More blood for the blood machine. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, right now. Slap we got the gorilla with your tentacle. Yeah. No, I, I, I will slap that, I, that I monkey like, with my tentacle. Uh, zoop, 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 no. zoop, 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 zoop. No, I, no, 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 don't, 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 it was the right thing, he was, he was, I felt like he was bad. <laughs> oh, zoop, zoop, zoop. <laughs> <laughs> How far back are you going? Uh, until... Until the beginning of the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's not funny when it's your own man. I, I do, I do go back to... Uh, the, the, the point at which I can be like, like, he, uh, the, the tentacles wrapping up, winding up, and I'd be like, the wizard. Oh. The, the okay, I hit the wizard. Yeah, why not? That seems to make much more the sense. So, yeah. So you rewind. Yep. So Craig is alive. Yep. Okay. And Yay. you tell him, tentacle, wizard. And I'm like, wizard. Okay, fine. <laughs> and my tentacle looks like really excited to hit Craig. <laughs> it's like, woo. And then I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Clerics can give you something for that. <laughs> Flex the wizard. All right, uh, so you attack the priest guy. Make a, a tentacle thing. Okay. But I already did. It was a 17. <laughs> uh, that, that, has, that didn't happen. 
<gasps> oh, oh it's no! so close. Oh. It's How'd a, you do? It's a, uh, it's a, uh, sorry, I was excited. It was a 20 and then it went. Yeah, brrr. I saw it with you. Yeah. yeah. Like your tentacle. Onto what? Uh, it's <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, okay, uh, it's not able to uh, get a real hold. Uh, actually, I've got advantage. I'm going to give that to him. Oh. 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 Nice. There we go. All right. Don't. This is going to go bad. We know this is going to go bad. <laughs> Ooh, 17. Ooh. We're All back right. to where we started. I didn't have to use <laughs> yes. that. I could have just you rewound it and had him re-roll. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, that's an abuse of power. Rewind it that's now. not going to work. <laughs> you pull, you know, you pull the priest cool. into the altar, and the priest is uh, electrocuted and absorbed into it as well. So lightning, priest, all good stuff. Everybody roll initiative. Because oh, <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the priest goes, the, the eight monsters go crazy. There's the only eight monster. Monster. Yep. Only one. Right. Yes. Okay, cool. Nice. 22. Whoa. Oh, 22? Dang. Yeah, I rolled a natural 20. All right. Eleven. How did Clay Clark, Clay Clark do? Clay Clark got a 17. Grim? 19. You're Kidman. killing me. 11. 11. Dirk? Um, <laughs> forgot that was my name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um... 18, 19, 20. Great. No, great. 17. 17. <laughs> Slightly less great. Math is hard. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Avram, after you pull the priest into the device, right. the uh, four-armed gorilla goes absolutely insane. What do you do? Oh. Oh, does it look like mad at me specifically yeah. about this? <laughs> Smack the monkey. <laughs> Extremely. R right. I'm going to try to flick him with my tentacle back into that. And I'm going to, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Go, Go ahead. Tentacle him. He just burned. Oh, 19 plus 5 is 24. Okay. And uh, what does your tentacle do? It, it mainly just does damage. It just does damage. Yeah. You make sure you um, get the damage. Yeah. It does a 1d8 of... Uh, I'm going to go with... Cold? Okay. It could be cold or lightning. And it does four. Okay. Yeah. So when you <laughs> use the tentacle to sort of rub him up against the altar, he also takes damage from that, but then the electrical charge is basically drained out at that point. Awesome. Um, so the altar is now safe to touch. So the creature is slightly more damaged than the four hit points you did, but is still alive. Oh, but is it like, did some of it squish in? No. Okay. He, so just, got, he just got badly burned. Okay. Not like the monkey from so the So he's fly. just super mad. Yeah. So yeah. terrible smell. Oh. Exactly. Okay. Angry monkey at me. Yep. And then it is Grimm's turn. Uh, I'm going to pull out the multi-tool. Yeah. And I'm going to uh, cruise way, way, way from these, like, aggressions. And around to the, the altar, and I'm like looking at the thing, and I'm like flipping through the Flip little through, tools yep. and multi tool trying to find what's going to work. Okay. Uh, go ahead and just make an intelligence check. Oh, yeah, I'm really good at those. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Who chose him as the engineer? <laughs> what? Koalish Nothing. chose him. Yeah. Natural 20. Woo! There we go. Oh, my God. That's why he chose him. What an <laughs> excellent decision yeah! to make you engineer. <laughs> hey, that's, yeah! So that's what I get 20. Okay. <laughs> yes, you find the perfect tool for the job. Yes. And you start prying those things out. I pop, do. Pop. Yeah, you you able to get. I'm like Jake, give me a hand. <laughs> Jake will come over and um, he will detach his hand. <laughs> no. And hand it to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yes. We all get inspiration for yes. that. <laughs> uh, but you don't need actually his help. You're able to do this all sure, by sure. yourself. Cool. Um, he's just there for emotional support. <laughs> and uh, so you're able to pull several pieces out, probably as many as Qualsh needs. Oh, okay. I like pull them out. I just like start yeah. smashing them in my bag. Okay. They're like silver metal plates with wires sticking out of them, uh -huh. things like that. Cool. Uh, you could keep just taking more stuff out on your next turn if you want, just sure, to deprive sure. these guys of having it. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. that sounds a good idea, actually. Yeah, now that you've figured out the tool, yeah, the yeah. right tool for the job. All right, that's your turn. And next is Clay Cork. 
Quick work. Um, uh, how, how many? What, what's alive right now? The four-armed big giant gorilla monster. That's the only thing that's alive. Also Everybody me. and yes. And, and everyone else. And, um, and we'll, Craig, deal, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> Craig, so, so can I tell that that the uh, altar itself is rendered a little bit useless based on r the removal of this thing? Like, does it? Uh, it it seems like yeah. It's, okay. It's it's. Something has happened to it. You see it's gone from being this sort of opalescent blue to this deep, dark purple. Got it. Mm. Okay, well, cool. Then um, uh, I, want to, I want to cartwheel roll into him um, uh, with my bamboo shoots. <laughs> 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 there were stats for yes. those. Yes. 1d6 plus 4. 1d6 plus 4. That's what I'd like to my do. My sheet says 2d6 plus 4. Ooh. Go for 2d6 plus 4. Yay. Okay, so I'll roll to hit first. But don't I get, do, do I get a bonus for that? I don't remember. Uh, um, it's just your... Just um, roll to hit. Since it's an unarmed strike. <gasps> oh, it doesn't matter. I got a 20. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. So you, yeah. Do, you do 4d6 plus 4. 4d6. Hey. <laughs> okay. I was about to curse, and I decided not to at the last second. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so 7... And six is 13 plus four is 17 damage. Nice. Of bamboo damage. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> All right. <laughs> that is, uh, that's actually an amazing, um, an amazing uh, comic book onomatopoeia. Bam! Boom! <laughs> 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 All right, and uh, that's your turn. Is that it? Uh, that is it. I feel good right, about so that. So yeah, you you stabbed him good and hard. Uh, that he probably jumps up and down from the pain of the bamboo piercing his. Can I have? Flesh. Can I have taken some some bit of meat from his body oh. that, that like that like sticks on some of my bamboo? <laughs> Just some flesh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> In case you want like kebab, hey, monkey thanks, kebab Chris. later. <laughs> Mental note, delete Amy's number from iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Just musings at night sometimes. <laughs> that is the sort of thing after a game you're like, I could have taken some of that monkey. <laughs> 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 what was I thinking? Well, guess what, Dirk? It's your turn. <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, Live the dream. Yeah, seeing how well that... Chris says yes to everything. <laughs> Throw yes, your pamphlets at it. Yes, and. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go in all paladin ninja style with my arm barbs too, <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get in there on the monkey. The monkey's feeling <laughs> okay. Uh, beware, dad joke. Dad joke incoming. I, that wasn't even. A, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's cool. Just the one time I try to say something without innuendo. Get on in there. That's also a 20. Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Clearly the fates want us to kill this monkey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, because yeah. I can tell everyone on the internet is angry, it's an ape. Right? If okay. it's like a gorilla, there's a distinction. A monkey has a tail. Gorilla is one of the apes. Mm -hmm. We know it's oh. just a game fun. We're doing a charity thing. I just love that you have some, like, internet intuition. Oh, no. <laughs> I, yeah. I have won this through hard, <laughs> through hard pains. So uh, uh, that was 12 plus whatever? What was the... It plus was four. It was plus four. four. 16. Yeah. 16. All right. Uh, so... I'm inventing a new condition oh, uh, for the game. Plus another three <laughs> oh, for no. strength. All right. Uh, the new condition is bamboozled. Bamboozled! Oh! Oh! That's awesome! Oh, no! So this creature is now oh. bamboozled. Yeah. Not exactly sure what the effects are, but they're not good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and so um, the next person up will be... Please don't be the caveman. Caveman. All right. So in its bamboozled yes, state, it is bamboozled. So I am going to rush forward, shield and battle axe in hand, trying to hew it down right. and possibly finish it off. That is not a twenty, um, but it is a twelve. <laughs> Ah. Uh, well, these things are just big sacks of hit points, so you're able to actually hit them with that. Outstanding in its bamboozled state. Of course yes. I did. All right. So <laughs> uh, is going to do 
four points of damage as I yell out some kind of insult to Tamora. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would love if he had just become a paladin that day and his whole religion formed around hating my god. He doesn't have one of his own. He just hates mine. The oath of I hate tomorrow. <laughs> Stranger things have happened You're just on our planet. Just playing spoiler. <laughs> All right. Uh, the, the creature is still alive but gravely hurt at this point. It's too bamboozled to attack I'm you. Going, can I smite? Oh. Yeah, I'm you second like, level. You can, you can all right, I'm going right? to go on and do it. We're almost out of time, so I'm going to... No. <laughs> all right, so uh, 2d8 yeah, extra. Time. So that's 10 extra points of damage. As you see, holy light that is entirely opposite of whatever Tamora's light would be. <laughs> fill fill the, the axe head and bear down into this bamboozled creature. Yes. Tamora sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your smite sounds like. Yes, and, <laughs> and, and Vecna agrees with you because the beast uh, crumples under your feet as you split its skull wide. And <laughs> it expires. Yay! I was, I was trying to do a cool pose and I you did all that, that. and yeah. I was like... I killed that. Just deal no. with it. Just deal with it. It's not that you're a lesser paladin. It's just that. Tamora sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so when your oath comes up one day, <laughs> yes. we have more fun on this side. Right. So there are no current enemies in this chapel. I think all the things. There might. Well, be I would one. argue okay. that. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just me and my tentacle. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Craig is like just, he just sort of kicks the dust of what used to be like somebody's face. <laughs> Craig, how you doing, buddy? Like, everything okay? Um, Listen, well, if you need to talk. I don't think I'm going to We don't survive. really have time right now. Uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm going to get blamed for this. Yeah. You should come back with us. Yeah, come with us. Yeah, just come with us. Yeah. Back to the future. Also, I bet you this. Do you I come mean, from a nice place? Yeah, it's the future. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's great. I mean, it yeah. was great when we left. I, I have some concerns about when we go back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have turned that torture room. It's into going a, to be. It, uh, I, I literally wrote in butterfly room. You know, and so like they're just going to be getting killed left and right with the butterflies. <laughs> it's going to be yeah. the Vector Casino. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you yeah, have any paintings we can check to see if they're starting to fade? Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> is there yeah. anything valuable in the room? Uh, so I imagine there's some loose change from all the dead. There probably is, and you can you can start scooping up loose change out of their ash <laughs> and covered bits. in ash, <laughs> <laughs> just like handfuls of dust, dirty money, black dust, yeah. <laughs> Blood. Definition of dirty money. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Just, 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 just dusting with my mage hand. Just like mm, that feels like a coin. Yes. Uh, how I, oh, it's how is the paladin? Oh. Oh yeah, he's still there. Um, he's sort of, he's sort of, looking at all of the devastation and nodding approvingly. Is who do you serve? Mr. Whom do I serve? Who, oh, yes. <laughs> I said, I said <laughs> that I didn't do the studies. The I said that I didn't do the studies. <laughs> the god of language arts. Yes. <laughs> Obviously. The god of grammar. You're like yes. Ogma's yes. little. Uh, I, I am in service to the sun god Pelor. Oh. Oh, so how are things there? Uh. Bright. <laughs> <laughs> do you have parties? And oh, yeah. Yeah. Wild, wild, uh, yeah. How go, wild they, do they get? They go till sunup. <laughs> Boo. Hey. Boo on you. <laughs> um, that's all I'm going to pull Dirk aside and say, hey, uh, I saw what you did with the, the bamboo stuff, and that's so cool. Well, you were rolling? Yeah, we were like ro you were rolling. rolling? And you were, yeah, I was just thinking maybe we a team up or something. Like, yeah. Yeah, is there, I mean... I, I, I was thinking, like, uh, the BAM-2, the BAM or is Ooh. there, yeah, do you have a name that maybe the, is a uh, partnership? The, kind of the, the BAM-2. BAM yeah. BAM oh, BAM oh, well, I said that, so. <laughs> 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 so it sounds like you're just saying the same thing I this said. This paladin, uh, whose name, name, by the way, is Pentaval. Pentaval. Says, if it's okay with you guys, I, there's a Baylor demon hanging around here. I'm going to try to find and kill it. Who said that? Uh, the paladin you gonna, that you just said. Like, go by yourself? Oh, yeah. No problem. In your weakened state? Mm, yeah, 
it would last a few rounds longer than normal. But so, <laughs> if there was any advice you would give to a fledgling paladin, what would that be? I would say. <laughs> oh boy. Um, don't be like that. <laughs> Be never, like no. this. Ne never end a sentence in a preposition. Yes. Yes. M dashes and N dashes aren't the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I am writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I think that sounds great. Tightly. We got a piece a out. A semicolon is a period with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. Well, now I'm sad. <laughs> sounds so boring. <laughs> what, what? Oh, you're sending me secret messages. Yeah. Intermissio? Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Everybody's I fine. Think, I think we got to, I think we got to peace out. I mean, if you want to go fight a Baylor, I mean, yeah, you, my you advice do is thing. don't, but, but <laughs> we, we have, we have got another agenda. Such powerful evil must be destroyed and it's in its, we, it's in a weakened condition here as well because they're trying to suck the life force out of it. I'm going to deny them their prize and just murder it. Uh, that Please. sounds fun. Yeah. What do you guys think? Kill Baylor demon? Oh, I wasn't thinking about you. No. He, we'll just he said he got it. He said he's got it. He's got yeah. it. Yeah. Um, also, in terms of like the life force so being sucked out of him, is this sort of like a dark crystal, like when one of the podlings? And so is he all like pruney? Um, he's yeah. He looks a little bit uh, underfed at the moment. He's okay. got, he, he's a half dragon, so his his flesh is a little thicker. Uh, he's got plates and ridges and things that um, don't necessarily well, betray I'm gonna feed him his some bamboo. Rah! What's that? Oh, bamboo. It's bamboo. <laughs> it's bamboo. You yeah. hand him a piece of bamboo. Yeah. It it's monkey got a piece of on monkey, it? monkey meat on it's it, It's got though. some monkey meat on it. It's a kebab. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's got eight meat on it. Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> well, based on what I've seen, it's as good as any other sword. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I mean, you just look hungry. Yes. I will kill the Baylor demon with this shaft of bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fear not. <laughs> Fantastic. Jake, have we found all the, uh, the, 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 the future stuff that we need to find? Are we just completely done with our mission from Doc? Well, he said there were several different yeah, time points. Yeah, he said there were several. This is the first. <laughs> yeah. Like, are we completely done, Jake? Why are you nodding? Are we mm -hmm. completely done? It's time to leave. Jake's over this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jake has already moved on. Yeah. Have we fulfilled the requirements to go back to the future, Jake? Or do we have more to do? I can't ask him that because no, he's got to answer yes or I think, no. I think he, yeah, I think we, Jake, take us to place number two on the list. I want to kick over the altar first. Oh, it's yeah. big. It's huge. Oh, big I'll stone help. Block. Yeah, let's. <laughs> okay. yeah. Everybody's pushing on the stone block for some reason. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> what I love is like we all work and it just goes. Clunk, and it yeah. doesn't break. It's no. just a piece of no. We can't it's, break it. It's a yes. metaphor. Now it's it's a metaphor of success. On its side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! All right. Not that we've left this room, but I'm going to instruct my tentacle to try to chisel out its best attempt at an uh, altar to me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're chiseling your name on the altar? Yeah, like, like chiseling. Avrin, and also trying to make a likeness of me, like nice. loosely. Kilroy Perfect. was here. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Okay, well, if you do that, I'm going to write for a good time call. <laughs> <laughs> In front of What it. weird nice. god is this? <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a giant cold tentacle. For a good time <laughs> pray. <laughs> yes. All right. The legend continues. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the way I wanted to. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, uh, Jake is ready to transport you back. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. Come on, Jake. Hey, hey, Kevin. We did it. Do you want to... Uh... Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, seriously, this guy doesn't even remember your name. Do you want to serve a goddess? <laughs> like, well, I don't... I don't know. Do I have to choose my career now? Nope. I'm can I get a, like, you a can real just, job first? You can yep. find yourself over the next 10 years and still keep living with your parents or whatever you need to do. Oh, I don't live with my parents. Oh, what happened to your parents? <laughs> oh, well, this is going to get deep. <laughs> I don't even wait for the answer. I don't want to hear it. Uh, <laughs> Go, 
Jake go? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hey, Jake, can we take him back with us? Jake uh, looks at him and goes, Want to come to the future? Okay. Awesome. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Over. Let's go. I like that we're now using this device not to just uh, avoid horrible deaths, but now just awkward conversation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. Yes. 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 <laughs> at the restaurant, like, why did I do that? <laughs> so, uh, Jake uh, transports you away. Uh, you appear back in Kowalish's laboratory. And uh, the, the scientist is, is uh, up on a balcony, uh, flipping switches on a master control panel. He hasn't noticed you yet. He's looking at a clipboard. Uh, master, master, we're back. Ah, oh, excellent. Welcome home. Thanks. Who's the kid? Uh, <laughs> I think you know. He's, uh, I think, yeah, he's going to be your robot friend. Craig? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my good boy. <laughs> Come over here. I'd like to put you in this chamber. <laughs> <laughs> you see this? Like <laughs> <I'm laughs> <like I'm laughs> <laughs> We've brought him. We think, we think he might be your grandfather. You know, time stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Better be careful of him. No, seriously, it's Craig, and he becomes your robot. Excellent. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you saved me the trip. We're giving him the immortality, right? What's wrong with being made in metal? That's fine. Yeah. Sure. Also, he said he didn't have direction in life. Yeah, horrible. he didn't have direction, so we just was, get, okay. let's just give him direction. Okay. Yeah, Craig? Cool. This isn't like me. Well, Quash goes that, over to Craig and puts his arms on his shoulders and kneels down in front of him and says, Craig, would you like to be a robot? <laughs> and Craig's like, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, it's consensual. <laughs> He's 17. Yeah. yeah like for no Halloween. one who is 17 Listen, should you, make a choice that lasts their whole life. You have to let them make their decisions no, and make you their mistakes. No, you don't. You could live forever. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you could live forever, Craig. <laughs> Immortalized and steel. Listen, Marlon, I mean, uh, whatever, uh, Kirk, Dirk. Dirk, your name is. See, I, I'm doing it now. You've rubbed off on me. Um, listen, you have to let them fail. <laughs> you have to let them fail to learn from those mistakes. I, I just want to persuade. This is for the best. Craig, you <laughs> should just be a robot. You will have, like, you just have such clarity and You'll live forever. You're going to live forever. You're going to go on adventures. We just came back with you with one. It was Let great. me show you my pod. <laughs> and he, he just sort of takes Craig by the hand yeah. uh, and leads him out of you the... You know, this is going to sound so weird, but I'm so jealous of Craig right now. <laughs> 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 and I push her in. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the pod's in a different room. Oh. Uh, so uh, uh, Paul <laughs> just leaves with Craig and says, I'll be back to settle up. Just oh. make yourselves at home. I like oh, that great. part. Right. Oh. How so, did this all go so well as planned? At yeah. that point in the room, Magadam <laughs> materializes in the laboratory. Uh, 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 who's that? Morgan this is the, he's the foreman. This from, is the yeah. foreman. Followed us Yes, back he followed you the, back in time. We had left a what? tunnel of some sort. And uh, yes, he followed you through the time vortex. Yes. Oh, uh, God. Enterprise style from... Uh, first contact, and then uh, appears before you. You can see that this wizard is carrying a quasi-mechanical blade of Ooh. black steel in his hand, but there's like circuitry weaving through it. Ooh, I want that. Yes. And, uh, zoop, 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 zoop. and then I push a chair in front of where he comes out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to abuse right. this until you yes. take this away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I only got an hour left. left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so you rewind. A time vortex deposits Magadam in front of the chair, which I assume you want him to fall off. No, oh, I want off. him to materialize <laughs> in the middle of it. Oh, in the middle of the yeah. chair. Oh! Okay. Why don't we choose something heavier? Oh, the chair was right here. What you find is it doesn't actually work like that. He just appears next to the chair. Oh, well, now he has some more to say. So that's nice. <laughs> I'm just being courteous. Yes. Hospitable. <laughs> Laws of hospitality are very and firm. He looks at the chair, for, gives it a double take he for a moment, like, 
Hmm, interesting. Um, and uh, you can see that he peels off his face. Oh, no. And underneath is circuitry and robotic parts. <gasps> Craig? <laughs> 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 I am alternate timeline. <laughs> Where's your mustache? Look what you allowed him to do to me. Oh no. You know that I wasn't cool with it. You will we die by my rune blade. <laughs> we no. did this. We deserve this. Yes. yes. Roll, roll, the roll initiative. totally deserve this. Oh Everybody roll word. initiative. Oh, oh well. Oh dang it. Yeah. Let's All right, so we have some donations in between. We have $10 from Gozarian. We have $10 from Dr. Patina Puzzle, who says, thank you for a great show. We have $10 from Useless Rogue. And we have $35 from Gozarian that says, Magic is Wild, roll table for Amy, because she can role play it the best. Aww, Aww. thanks. That's great. Uh, that is a 100% uh, Okay. Uh, ooh, 91. 91. If you die within the next minute, <laughs> you immediately come back to life as if by the reincarnate spell. Ooh, Ooh slash as an android. No one rewinds. Oh, I kind of want this to happen. I don't, I don't have to. Uh, this can be arranged. <laughs> <laughs> I just walk up and stab her. <laughs> so, what was your initiative? Uh, four. <laughs> four. Caden. Three. Three. Abram. <laughs> you beat eight. me again. Eight, eight as well, yeah. You're an eight? Eight as well, Grim? yeah. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, Yay. Uh, so roll for Evil Craig. Oh, God. Slash Mogadam. Um, okay, so, Grim, what do you do when this evil cyber wizard shows up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm gonna t I have the bag with the, all the, the, the shards and the things yeah. and stuff right there. And I'll, like... Drop it behind a table, like where he's <laughs> over there and I'm over here. Okay. And then I just kind of pull out a stick and tap it and cast shillelagh on it and say, don't come over here. It's All messy. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here, big guy. Eyes <laughs> mm. on the mission. And if he shows up over here, yeah, I'm going to smack him with it. Cool. All right. Your stick? Mm -hmm. yeah, stick has it's a shillelagh. So mm. Okay, so it's me. Uh, it is, so that's your turn. Now it's his turn. No! Mogadam, Mogadam. Mm, Mogadam. is Kills going it. to <laughs> 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 uh, look I at the druid and uh, cause an information overload in your brain. That won't take much. Yeah, so make, make a intelligence. Look, that's a move. <laughs> make, make, hey! make an intelligence saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how we lost him. Fourteen. All right. Uh, so that does not make it. Uh, all of your brain synapses fry out, and you take twenty-two psychic damage. <laughs> so I'm unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, just just because the gamer in me has to know, I'm like, zoo, 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 zoo. I go back to before he made his saving throw. It's not your turn. Uh, oh. Well, Ooh. Chris, uh. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he knows um. the rules. <laughs> uh -huh. And then uh, you see that he disappears and teleports next to the bag on the floor. Mm. Ooh. Oh. Dang it. Not good. Yep. And then it is Clay Cork's turn. Clay Cork's turn. Um, I also want that bag on the floor. I, I, I feel like we, w we did a lot to get there. So I'm going to, how far away from the bag on the floor? Oh, you're I? probably 10 feet away. 10 feet away. Okay. Um, then I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my turn. I would like to... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab it, grab the bag. So you're going to rush over and try to grab the bag? Yeah, rush over there, try to grab the entire bag. Um, and then... And when then, you, when oh, you um, yeah. uh, pick up the bag, uh, you can see that Mogadam is ready and an action looks like he... Like he's going to use a reaction to hit you with it. Well, That's we're, fine. So can, can I just? See, it's not my turn. That's okay. We're but the with, Bam Twos. With, we're the Bam Two. Yeah. 
we gotta get we are work, we are workshopped at. Well, we both liter we both literally came up with it. You thought you came up with it, <laughs> but you just <laughs> repeated what I said. So, it, path of least resistance. It seems like there was but, a line. But back. what I'm saying is, like, if you wait, and uh, we can both, like, in a video game, if we both go on the same turn, we get like a power up, like we do a yes. duo move. Yes. I don't know what that would okay, be. Okay, here's what I'm, here's what I, I yeah, because my, my initial thought was to attach it to an, an arrow because I'm a ranger and shoot it away. But if we work together, we could I install it, install these things in ourselves. <laughs> oh, that's not where I was going. Okay. <laughs> but I, and if anything <laughs> needs to be workshop. I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> like, uh, like. Okay, what are you thinking? Maybe. If if we, I was thinking like a super move, like we like we get all our of our bamboo all tangled up, and we spin in a. Now that sounded a little weird. No, we tangle our bamboo. No, I'm loud. with you, and we form a force field of bamboo around the around thing. us and the bag. Okay. That he would have to overcome somehow, like a a bamboo shield. Bamboo shield. I'm in. Okay. Okay. I I hold my action. Okay. Until until Durex. Yeah, but you did pick up the bag. Yes. Okay. Uh, he, he, he does not like that you have the bag, and uh, he says, give me the bag. Um, I re <laughs> I re okay. <laughs> well, he's, he's got a reaction. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewind. I'm going to rewind <laughs> if you'll let me, and, and now I just want to stay where I am and not even go over to the bag okay. uh, to, mm -hmm. yeah, to hold, really, really hold okay. my action. All right. Yeah. So you're gonna have to explain your plan all over to him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay it, so your plan will seem really the, good to me. The plan, about, the plan about the shoving of the parts. Yeah, we're plan? okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, but we are the Bam Twos. <laughs> I want to rewind so that I can say it first. <laughs> <laughs> Am I in a writer's room? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> all right, uh, Avrin. Uh, <laughs> Do I sense any kind of wild magic energy coming off of her? Like, off of her? Yeah. Oh, because I, because, yeah. Oh, yeah, probably. Because <laughs> like, if I die, I get reincarnated. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could speed that along. <laughs> <laughs> maybe and the party become, was the villain no, all along. I'm saying that maybe, maybe it will come back as something more useful. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I no, mean, no. Honestly, yes, I didn't even know yes, you were yes, a ranger. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Right. Oh, my gosh. Do it. Because right. I want it to be a, uh, yeah. I think. Yeah, I'm, okay, so I get to use the tentacles oh, this is like as a three opposed part. to action. It's, it's three all part. three of us yeah. acting together for the super So game. I'm telling my tentacle to hit the wizard. And okay. Guys, guys, got a great plan. I'm, let's kill ourselves. Let's <laughs> kill, yeah. I'm very near. What's your character's name? Uh, Clay Cork. Yeah, Clay yeah. Cork. Uh, and then I just like Eldritch Blaster in the temple. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Okay. It's okay, everybody. She wanted. <laughs> she wanted. Yeah, she wanted. Was yeah. So you, you're you're okay with this? So it's just an auto hit, right? Like just. Gonna... Yeah, but I would like to come back part cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> well, you obviously come back through a time vortex. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a vorpal vortex. Oh my oh God. God! A vorpal vor 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 vortex. Yeah. Vortex. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> this is how timeless stories are made. This is a, and it's dark, right? Like it's just yeah. like so yeah. Yeah. you sort of blast her. Yeah, we're gonna be the bam too. <laughs> 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 you go. Yeah. All right. The 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 you're awash with this eldritch energy, which seems to combine with some of the. Uh, uh, circuitry in Kowalish's lab and all of these wires uh, spring out of panels around you, wrap around you like a mummy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. And as you are resurrected by the power of your wild magic is causing all this wackiness to happen. These wires are coursing through your body. Plates are being attached to you. Cool, cool. In places you've never had plates before. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> I've literally only held plates. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> every, every place is a place I've never had plates. <laughs> Koalish's lunch, which was on a counter, gets sucked into this somehow. <laughs> so you've got like a salami yes. sandwich inside yes. you. Oh. Uh, okay, cool. Not the salami. <laughs> yes, but you rise as a... As as Mecca Clay Cork. <laughs> <laughs> this feels good. <laughs> uh, I would still like to use my bonus action to attack the wizard. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, 
What's his name? Mogalon? Mogadam. Mega Man? Mega Millions? Future Craig. <laughs> Mega Bomb. Yeah. Uh, that's a, that's going to be a miss. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel okay. like uh, nine, 14. Uh, that is it. Oh, okay. Nice. He's just a soft, squishy wizard. Soft, squishy wizard. And I consider you my daughter now, because my robot daughter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mega Clay Cork. Mega Clay Cork. Seven. Seven points. Seven. Tentacly yes. Uzi damage. Yes. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. Let's make that a ringtone. Created a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on that. That is good. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's going to use his reaction to strike you with his rune blade. No. Which sounds really cool, but then I'm looking at it going, really? Fifteen? <laughs> uh, uh, it does hit. Okay. Yeah. I figure a rune blade should ruin you. <laughs> um, I know. I'm very squishy. I have been squishy, especially uh, the part It does my head 12 left. slashing damage. Oh! Well, I die. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh, I see. It's referring me to an appendix. Oh, interesting. Mm. Oh, no. Secondary Secondary Do tell. <laughs> you came into this life and you saw your father killed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Um, and then it, the blade disintegrates you. <laughs> what, no, no, what, what I love. I need this animation. <laughs> no, no, no. First, Portland's like, was like, we're gonna do the thing, and you're like, yeah. yeah. And then you're blown away, and you come back, and you turn to him and say, Daddy. Daddy. And then he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, what even? Look, everyone is heartbroken in this circle of tragedy. It's like the fastest Batman origin story ever. <laughs> <laughs> and just pearls fall to the ground. <laughs> and Mogadam's like, wow, that worked better than I thought. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, so you just got stabbed with a sword, and then you're just this blowing dust across the room. Uh, and that's your turn. Well done. Uh, okay. <laughs> a dirk. I get all up in his beard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's your part of this of this fancy move here. Yeah. I'm I'm like Mecca Mecca bamboo. Mecca clay. Oh yes, Mecca. Wh mecca what boo. is your thing? What are you gonna say? I don't know. You know, mecca. I've got nothing. No, this that, you just started got real strong. Weird. Start. Don't give up, Mecca. Mecca, mecca boo too. Mecca. Uh, okay. Okay. Me <laughs> mecca. Mecca bam. Mecca boo. Mecca boo too. Mecca boo. Mecca boo. Mecca boo. Mecca bay. <laughs> <laughs> mecca. <laughs> the, the, yeah. Our special move is the mecca lecca high. <laughs> mecca high -ho. And it's pretty much. I'm just okay. gonna come in. I'm gonna swing in. Okay. And I'm gonna. We're gonna like do si do. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna like leverage you around. And like supercharge your super quill that I imagine all of your spines yes, are like now yes. coated in super sharp metal. Okay, and, fantastic. And I'm, we're, I'm just yes, my, some of even my bamboo has turned into yeah circuitry. It's all yeah. like coated in metal and extra sharp now. I would argue perhaps like vorpal sharp. Vorpal and then sharp. and oh, then like yeah. swing you around and just like impale him. With you. <laughs> yes, yes. I've become, I've become a tumbleweed of circuitry, bamboo, and dragonborn lightning. Oh my God. <laughs> She's <And> Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> She's avenge, literally Mecha Godzilla. Avenge my daddy. <laughs> avenge my right. daddy. Uh, so, this is an improvised weapon. So, uh, <laughs> go it's ahead. a pretty large one. Right? Go ahead and make your attack roll. Uh, uh, can, can, yeah, would it be my attack roll or her attack roll? Uh, can I be giving her? Uh, no, it's your turn. You're attacking, but she can assist you okay. effectively. Yeah, well, I held my action to do some uh, version of all of this. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Right. Um, so can I give her advantage? Why don't you each roll and take the highest roll? Oh, okay. that's great. Um, cool. Dungeon Master Perkins is I got a seven on the die. Oh, but I have inspiration, and I will use it. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, okay, so that's a three. So a seven on the die. <laughs> I got an 11. Okay, and uh, what's your... Strength. Plus, plus strength. strength would be 14. His AC is 14. Is Woo! he proficient in her? He is now. <laughs> <laughs> we just met. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you throw, you you whirl her around and throw this dreadnought um, <laughs> into Mogadam's face. Uh, 
gosh, how much should you do? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's so a tough much. One. There should be some six. lightning in there. Yeah, yeah, should be some lightning. Yeah. Um, he should also rec He should also be sort of looking into a mirror since I'm part him now. You right. Know? Like, yes. So some yeah. sort of psychic or all of his past misdeeds. And she's talking mentality. the whole time, so sorry. Right. Yes. Thunder yes. damage. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, Do you see your failures <clears throat> in my face? <laughs> <laughs> yes, so you, you impale him with yourself, yeah. and the two of you are locked together, yeah. and uh, your, your um, power matrixes become inexorably bound together. Whoa, whoa, whoa. PG-13. And... <laughs> This is like Vision and Ultron. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you merge into one glorious entity, and I need you to make a contested charisma check to see which personality oh, no. comes oh, out on so top. Cool. Okay, Just okay, okay. Stopped. So before you roll, Amy, because you do have a donation to give you inspiration. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Amy does have a donation oh, to give her inspiration. Uh, the, comment, uh, the donator is Chad. The comment is, you should call it the BAM duo. Oh. Okay, okay, all right, that's, that's yeah. good. Yeah, continue. Okay, the BAM duo. The BAM duo strikes again. <laughs> um, and I have, okay, so charisma, charisma saving throw? Just a charisma check. Just a charisma check. Oh, again. shoot, I'm minus one, so 11. All right. Uh, you become absorbed by Mogadan's personality. Okay. And now he is, all of you is incorporated into him. Did, did okay. you want to re-roll with your inspiration? I rolled, inspiration I think gives you advantage. Uh, and I rolled, I did roll two dice. You rolled two dice? Yeah. And 11 sorry. was your best. And 11, was, 11 still yeah. was the best. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm she sorry. has been absorbed. Can I give her my charisma bonus because we're the BAM duo and we're acting mm -hmm. together? Oh yeah, yeah, can you, can you, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> and my ass? Of course, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> and my <laughs> <laughs> like you had to ask. <laughs> oh, now it feels dirty. <laughs> no, it's all good. Uh, what's your charisma bonus? It's two. Okay, so that would be no. a third. It's not enough. It's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do my ashes skin in his eyes when he's attempting to do this? Uh, he absorbs your ashes too. <laughs> okay. All right, there are only uh, Grim. <laughs> And you and you left. No, I'm unconscious. Oh, you're unconscious, oh, yeah. right. And he, he just acted. So now it is Cademan's turn. So do I perceive any of the extremely strange stuff that just, like, do I understand what happened with the robot union? I would, I would love to. Do not you... analyze this plot. <laughs> <laughs> I would love if you turned around you. and, and like you were, you were looking at something, you come back and everyone's gone. What's his name? Everyone's gone and there's just a weird <laughs> robot Remember. porcupine there. Yes. <laughs> a dragon man, cyborg, bamboo porcupine. What is his name again? Mogadon. Mogadon. Mechaleka Mogo. Mechaleka Mogadon. Hey, cork. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> oh. Hey, cork, mega mega hey, you guys. Um, uh, so, are you in there, Mecca Cork? Oh, mecha whatever. It is there? just me now. Just me now. <laughs> I know <laughs> that you're in there. I know that you're strong. I know that you have really annoying voices. I know that you can overcome this. You have the power inside. Fight him, beat him, you can do it. I'm trying to talk her out. All right. Uh, I will let you repeat the charisma check. With, uh, the, with the inspiration? No, just the straight check. Just one, uh, one straight check. Okay, Unless here we there's go, a baby. donation that throws you inspiration bonus. <laughs> okay. All right. There could be one. Good job. Oh, nope. A nine. Okay. Uh, nope. <laughs> no. That should have worked in the movie. That you know, in the movie. Uh, I really tried, but um, <laughs> like I'm not gonna get to that bag before you. So it's like, what, what's gonna happen when you when you pick up the bag, Mister Robot? Well, funny you should ask. You're that funny. Uh, but first, that the first Grim. Yeah. You, you have, have a death save. I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's not creepy at all. <laughs> This is success. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mogadam, mm -hmm. no, sorry, uh, Mega Clay Cork Mogadam. Mogadam. 
Kadoobadooba, yeah, is, uh, is going to pick up the pieces in the bag on the floor. Uh, then he is going to channel his newfound Eldritch Blast ability and hit you in the face. <laughs> Iron Man style. Um, I'm the only one left. <laughs> All right. Uh, he he crit you in the face. Crit me. Yes. Come on. Uh, you take uh, seventeen. Twenty-four points of damage. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> you did get a second level. I did, but it's not enough. <laughs> All right. I could have um, taken regular Eldritch Blast, but not crit. Okay. All oh, right. wait. This he's, is got, he's higher level, so he's got Chris, another one of those. This is what we say. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. And it, it, just say it. Okay, ready? Time, Time to, to face, face your, your real daddy. daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Ringtone number two. <laughs> yeah. All right. oh my God. Can we cut that laughter out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and uh, so... That's, that was fun. And now <laughs> it is, uh, well, Clay Quirk, you've been absorbed, so we'll skip over you. Averin, you've been turned to dust, so you're not around. Uh, Dirk. I feel like I deserve that. Right. <clears throat> okay. I, I, I'm, we're already right there. I just swung her around, mm -hmm. right? And I am going to get up there, I'm going to put both my hands on her face, mm. and I'm going to do lay on hands, and I'm going to say, Bam, mm. I, like, we, we, we yeah. did really need to workshop this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, and I, I'm going to say, come, come back to me. You know, and I would love a bonus to this because we were already part of a duo. Yeah. Okay, uh, go ahead and make that a charisma persuasion check. Okay. Oh, nice. You got your hands on Mogadam's face thing, whatever. Mm, 21 oh. with the proficiency bonus. Yep. Uh, what do you say in response to that? <coughs> um, uh, okay, so I've already become... Uh, <coughs> submerged. Yeah, submerged in uh, Megadon. Um, uh, come back to me. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. Um, it was fun being a daddy, but <laughs> I prefer having a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I it's not getting weird at all like this. <laughs> <laughs> you see the you see the horror, the dawn and dirt no, size. No, it's good. It's good. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> what do you do while they're talking face to face like that? No, I I am down. You're down. Well, I mean, you have to make a death save, right? Yes. yes. Uh, well, uh, on my turn, right? Is yes. it my turn? Oh yeah, because I'm like the only one left. Correct. Yeah. He's not yes. left either. Yeah. Hey. You are the All only right. one hey. left. That is a success on a ten, right? Uh, that's correct. Yes. So Success. you have two successes. Great. So while you two are talking, uh, Mo Gadam. Uh, Having mocked her voice, just says, just kidding, Kink. and stabs you through with the sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And uh, does a 19 hit you? Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, you know, there's just no tricks to pull with a level one character. Right. All right, so uh, he does 13 points of damage. You still up? I mean, like, I've got 12. <laughs> <laughs> then as you feel this metal what? blade pierce your flesh, uh -huh. uh, you suddenly disintegrate away. I want to disintegrate into the thing. <gasps> I want to be with her. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. And then together, we're going to overcome yes. him from the inside. That's, that is what's going to happen. Your, your dust and her suppressed will are going to unite into <laughs> yeah. will dust yes. and, and get him from the inside. And that was in his beard. So. Oh, yeah. And you were in his beard, so you're sort of in there, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Uh, <laughs> okay. Voltron into something useless. <laughs> Grim. Fail. <laughs> oh. 
20 on the die. Hey, nice. back you, in the you game. You come to consciousness with one hit, one point. hit point. Yes. Okay. I hit the rewind button. <gasps> oh. you're, just, oh. you're just lying there with this thing in your hand. You press the button. You rewind. But when you look up, they're gone. What the? So you rewind. And... No. Uh, Suddenly, they're back in the room. Suddenly, he is un... Um, dusted. Dusted. Uh, um, you're going to keep rewinding? I am yeah. going to keep going. Okay. And I'm going to keep going. All the way till... Till... My third birthday when Judy... Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, before the contest... Before oh, the, con the, the contest? contest of wills yeah. between them two, okay. uh, before he got hit by the rune blade, before any of my allies died or fell down, that, be, okay. yeah. well, well, Grim, Grim would have yeah. gone down, fell. So it yes. basically goes all the way back to the start of the encounter. We're gonna do this again. <laughs> <laughs> and, I still killed her, right? Uh, oh, that no, oh. that would undo that. If that you would undo that, yeah. Oh, I'll do it again. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Actually. We can still form Voltron, except yeah. we'll be like way better at it this time because it'll be intentional. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ninety years later, <laughs> they are still pressing the buttons <laughs> to get these encounters to play out exactly the way they want to to ensure that nobody in the party dies. The end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that's the end of our game, folks. Thank you very much. Oh. Um, Please, 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 for the love of Timora, do not analyze this plot in any detail. <laughs> and also well, not hold up Timora. under any scrutiny. Time travel should never be used in D&D. I stand by that. This only verifies that. <laughs> um, not, my mind has not been changed. But thank you, guys. This was a lot of fun. And you guys are fantastic awesome. players. Thank you, Chris. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have two final donations. I have $10 from Balin saying, Timora backwards is aroma tea. Sounds like a great cologne. <laughs> uh, and then I have $80 for as a finale to make Pat wave the magic wand of nightmare candy one more time. Let's do it. Okay. No. That's eight. Oh, miss the wax lips by one. <laughs> I really would have loved to have the wax lips while we were having <laughs> yes, a dramatic. Yes. We're going to retcon that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ginger knots. Fried pink knots of ginger, which are spicy to the taste and just so happen to cause you to exhale small jets of flame from your nostrils <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> what? You can't use the flame for any type of attack, uh, but you can make charisma intimidation checks for an hour. Oh, and your skin is fine, but now you have a mustache made of hard, porous black charcoal <laughs> that has to be chipped <laughs> off your face with some kind of steel and does not go away on its own. Wow. <laughs> so I, I, I think that that did occur yes. before our dramatic yes. scene. I have this yeah. ridiculous mustache. Flame is coming out yes. of my nose. Exactly. Kind of ruined the mood. So that when he rewinded it, I was like, thank God. Yes. That felt, I, I yes. meant it to be touching, and it was so awkward. The actual ending is everybody got fused into one big happy. Yay. <laughs> oh, this is a big Uzi. Yes. Yay. Uh, do, do I have cultists now? Now that I have a statue in the past. Ooh. Oh, probably, yes. A and, and Avon's name is now probably burned into some corner of the Tomb of Horrors. Mm -hmm. That makes me happy. Because... Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. But seriously, guys, that was a lot of fun. That, that was, was awesome. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> I'm so glad you're a robot again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And thanks so much to everybody out there who's donated. And even though the game is over, you can still kick in some money. It's for a great cause. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Mm -hmm.